Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of Rock Ride. Oh no! <laughs> it's me! Oh, uh, oh that's me, Okie Grip! Audrey! Ah! Dan has it! Robot! I'm dead! Thanks for whatever you have for us tonight! Rock Ride, everybody dies! Okay, good. Thanks, Joe. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. You had a great show today. Thank yeah. you all. Congratulations. Wonderful. Yeah. Excellent. Great Adam. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> time. I got great news, guys. I clapped so hard, my hands hurt. <laughs> what? Why would you do that? Stop, stop doing that. You Nearly heard me clapping. Started. First time chatter, <laughs> exclamation point, question mark. Good, good. <laughs> Welcome. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Welcome to And my hands guy. hurt. <laughs> All right. If you, if you enjoy us, help us by going on twitch.tv for slash throwing the bear to watch the show, website, nevertodeclaration.com, and the Patreon to help support us. Thurston, what do you have for us today? Oh, well, I have a... I have a yarn to tell y'all. How about you uh, keep it short today? I, I, I will. I will. You see, previously on in, in the world of time, the, the rock grind show, our uh, destined band of chuckles, uh, they, uh, they headed off into the swamp where they uh, met an intelligent, beautiful halfling by the name of Pick Turn Squelchfoot. That's me, by the way. My name's Pick Turn Squelchfoot. And I want y'all to gather round because... We got we got a lot to go through today, everybody. Um, there's there's much to tell. In fact, today today we're gonna go through a lot. We're gonna go through the butter churner incident, the uh, the summer festival, the bad one, and we're gonna talk about my extended family. Uh, <laughs> the next three hours, you're all gonna buckle up because uh, hey, Mighty Picture and Squelchfoot is gonna tell you all about it. Hey Thurston. Yes. Have you ever watched uh, the Sherlock Holmes movie starring Robert Downey Jr.? Perhaps. Discombobulate. <laughs> <laughs> no! Wait, don't stop him, it needs to be done! <laughs> yeah, I, I imagine that Tannhauser is sitting wrapped, wanting to know more about the butter churner incident. Uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, I really want to know what happened with the butter churner. Uh, Thurston, can I make a check to discombobulate pick turn? Uh, yeah, give me a okay, we'll make it a flat check, a d20, please. Okay, you got it. Thurston's threatening us. He is. Seven. Look Before at him. Kill him. Look not at him quite, it's not quite enough. It's not this quite is enough. his world and we're living in it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the bits for that. Very good, very good. Okay, okay, okay. Good job. You filled his goddamn bar. Thanks. Excellent. Welcome, welcome. Oh, God, it's the picture and bar. <laughs> yeah, the picture and bar. Uh, welcome <laughs> to another exciting, exciting episode of Rock Ride. Uh, previously, uh, our, our group had uh, rushed away from the city of Outset after uh, dispatching a prominent member member of the local law enforcers known as the Tyrants Guild. They have now headed into the nearby swamps of the Solitude, where they are both lying low from the law following their little assassination mission and attempting to investigate more and learn more about the rot and the affliction that now has taken fairly strong hold in Vali and is spreading throughout young Orin. Uh, during that, they they traveled towards a trading post belonging to a uh, insected by the name of the Zap. But before they reached uh, this trading post, they uh, were beset by fog, and then a group, a herd—I don't know what's a what, what is a group of dank bears. Anyways, a lot of a lot of bears attacked them in the fog. A murder uh, of dank bears. A murder, a murder of dank bears. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> um, and during that, they encountered the ever loved hated whatever you want to do um halfling uh by the name of Picturn Squilchfoot who had um, survived a caravan that had been going into the solitude being being ruined and Picturn had sort of uh attached himself to the PCs and joined them for a bit afterwards our, our players made their way to Zabul Zap's uh trading post where they they met the the insected uh the trading post itself is a structure that is being sort of like pulled around by these these large uh, reptilian creatures as no structures can stay for long uh in the 
um, in in the solitude. There was also. Um, you know, the, the the players had had the opportunity to learn a little bit about the 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 the, the cultures of of the the solitudes, partic- particularly, uh, I believe it was Vali who became enraptured by a strange symbol uh, that led to the uh, led led to the understanding of a local religion around a creature named Crawdadamus. You mean my new god? Yes, 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 your new god. Yeah. Praise his, <laughs> praise his praise me. I hate you. He's and a again his crawdite. pinches on the world. <laughs> born again let, let, let the sins boil! Alright, everyone, this With is now spinners. your chance to draw Vali as a lobster. <laughs> I want yeah, Vali with a lobster sure. suit. Give me, where's it? Where's all the volley lobsterfication? Come on. The ball lobster. I am horrified. Anywho, <laughs> um, we'd sort of uh, left up there uh, following the, the players also meeting another NPC. Because, uh, you know, the, the constant shift of Erndil taking over my GMing abilities. Erndil had uh, taken the role of one of the, the new NPCs who they briefly met who had a relationship, a prior relationship with Baldrick. Uh, Sir Victrix, uh, which we have some art for now. Bam! Look at that. Pretty. Gonna, gonna quickly uh, interject and clarify relationship yeah, yeah. as in they hated each other and well, yeah it's that's hate is a relationship and i'm just clarifying that before the chat leaps on it oh okay well Mr. Mr. chat Mr. you know what to do um and yeah that was where we we left off the party has sort of reached the the fringes of civilization before getting ready to head off into the solitude in search of answers to the rot where the, the mysterious uh, primal worshippers of the old powers known as the Twang Folk reside. Uh, they, they seem to have, uh, like, have, have Picturn who has a variety of useful abilities, including the, the magical power to just summon a fucking cabin which might be useful. Um, the, the, there, are, there are a lot of, a lot of uh, things that have been prepped. But one thing at the end of last session that I asked the players to do was to uh, do a little bit of shopping. So I've saved us the the going through all of the shopping right now. And instead, I'm going to uh, start off by passing the ball over to, I don't know, let's pick on speaker. What has Tannhauser purchased? And uh, to, to tell me about the purchases you've made at Zap's trading post before you head off into the swamp. Well, clearly... As we meet towards where we shall eventually reconvene and head off into the deep swamp, mm-hmm. Panhauser has come prepared. He's used to the hard desert terrain. That doesn't mean that he's good at survival. He's just used to being in these kinds of situations. So he has bought three weeks worth of rations, uh, though he expects the journey should hopefully only take one week. Uh, he has bought a four-person tent. He has also bought several policies Policy, if you will, to protect his mortal soul through the plagues of the swab. I have an anti-plague lesser, an antidote lesser. I have a compass, some caltrops, uh, a cot, so I don't have to sleep on the swampy floor. And most of all, most of all, a fishing rod and tackle rods on site procurement of Tannhauser's favorite extracurricular activity. Thing. Thank That's you for, for thank you for for all of that. Really, um, yeah, perfect. Uh, okay, uh, Volley, you'd made some purchases as well. Yes, indeed, I did. Uh, I have the list here. Uh, I as well uh, got prepared for the inevitable Blight Town bullshit. Uh, I got a wow. lesser antidote and a lesser anti plague. Uh, I also got a bunch of rations, because I have no earthly idea how long we're going to be here, so I just bought 10, because it rounds out to an even 4 GP, and I like when the numbers are even. Uh, And then I bought 30 pistol rounds, anticipating that I will potentially need to be shooting some shit. Um, And yeah, I already had a bedroll and all that stuff in my handy dandy backpack uh but i likely purchased something to help get it off the ground so we don't have to uh sleep in the mud and that's my list excellent excellent um 
I believe, uh, Baldrick, you had made some purchases as well, correct? Baldrick was well aware that by knocking the block off of a, uh, a Tyrant's Guild leadership member that uh, the law would be quite hot, so they're not going back to outset anytime soon. That being said, he knows the dangers of bogging oneself down with excessive materials and wares, so he went pretty simple. He got an extra pry bar, he got a grappling hook and a rope to go with it, a singular pup tent with, you know, just for his own use, and then three weeks of rations, because he predicts that we will likely be looping back around to the the trading post, finding it somewhere up on the road at some point later. Because trying to bog yourself down with everything you could possibly need is a surefire way to sink into nothingness in the middle of the swamp. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, checking really quick. Uh, Oren, had you made any purchases? Yeah, Oren bought some snacks. Oh, good. That's what it. kind of snacks? Okay, uh, good. Just like two rations. <laughs> two rations. Good. God. Good. This is, this is. I'm. I'm. I'm loving this. Uh, and. Uh, <laughs> and what about our our dear Rahua? That depends. Rahu is kind of, uh, you know, kind of unprepared, but he did have some last minute shopping that he did want to get done. Okay. So in preparation for the journey ahead, assuming that he's going to run through the solitude once more, he picked up a couple flasks, some sealing wax, put them nice and tidy to collect some reagents and various natural resources in the swamps, some camouflage netting just to throw over himself or anybody. Yeah, assuming we need to camp out in the wilderness. A butterfly net. And a book of puzzles, potentially even a puzzle box. <laughs> butterfly net. Ah, uh, be beautiful, beautiful. All right, so this has taken um, the, the the better part of a day for you to, like, make these purchases, have, have goods delivered. Uh, each of you is sort of like, you know, Figuring out where who's holding on to what. Now, I believe some of this went into the into the the people's loot uh, yes. was where some of this is gone. Now, um, whilst the people's loot can hold some stuff, um, guess the question becomes: Who is holding on to some of this stuff? Like the tent, the four person tent, for example. I was actually thinking about that. Yes, and I was thinking that it might pay some dividends for us to obtain a wagon. Uh, or something of the long of those lines. I, I don't know how practical that is, given that we're going to be in the city for the most part. Yeah, long. a Next wagon thing, in the swamp we'll... is going to be, uh, that's going to be a tough one. A sled yeah, might be a better the, choice. The walking cauldron? We do, but it's not exactly yes. big. Is it big enough to hold, if it's big enough to hold a person, we can at least dump some shit in there. Or is it just like a little, like, soup pot? Yeah, I thought okay. it was always like a small soup pot. If there's some... uh, okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, can I do some bullshit at you? Oh, of great co start. Of, cor of course you can. Um, it's like All it's right. a decent sized cauldron, by the way. Just to to clarify, like it's like a medium sized cauldron that can carry like some some good amount of of uh, of bulk and ingredients and stuff. Um, it can but, carry up to two bulk of ingredients for potions. Yeah, which is a lot of bulk for ingredients for potions. Uh, if you put anything else inside it, though, it stands in place and refuses to move. Oh, <laughs> he's it, angry. It's a unionized cauldron. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just a Damn it, Danny, you unionized the harness. cauldron. I'm um, sorry, but the union makes us strong, too. Baldrick <laughs> pushes him into the swamp. Excellent. Uh, all right. <laughs> Zorin, what do you, what's the bullshit you want to throw my way? Okay. I need my party to back me up on this one. Oh, no. Okay. So oh, we get dear. a wagon. We get we a wagon. A drink. Okay. So, Thirsty, we're going to go through a, a thought process, right? Yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm open. We're, yeah, in we're in a swamp. Yeah. Sometimes swamps can contain gases, right? Okay, sure. Hey, so could some of those gases perchance be put into a balloon-like device in which we may attach to the wagon so it floats, but the wagon is strong enough, or that flotation enough is strong enough with enough balloons and gases to where we could put stuff in and make it very easy to go through the swamp? I, I, I think I like where Zoran is going with this, but I'm going to remind him of two things. One, 
Methane is not a very good floating substance. I think it no. does float what on do the surface mean? of air. However, <laughs> yeah. uh, I would like to remind you of a little a little incident uh, that took place, I think, in Germany at one point. Uh, what was it? Was like the, the, it was like the, the Hindenburg disaster? Uh, urban legend. <laughs> so, uh, so basically, we find some of that stuff. We get a floating wagon. I'll, I'm willing to spend a narrative declaration if, if people want it. Oren, <laughs> neutral good. Strix, shoreline Strix. Yeah. Strength, three. Dexterity, three. Constitution, yeah. three. Intelligence, yeah. minus one. Hey, go fuck yourself, game master. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to, to invent blimps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, hold on. Thurston, you are so right. Orin oh, no. doesn't have the intelligence necessary oh, no. to invent a blimp. Yeah, yeah. Or, or looks you like Tannhauser yeah. goes, man, it'd be nice if we could make this float in some kind of convenient way and yeah. stuff. Tannhauser. Tannhauser would be very interested in finding some way, but it would require someone with perhaps a crafting specialization in making vehicles like Tannhauser. Oh, oh man. Not again. How, oh, I was, how I was just going to just gonna, that. Thurston. I was just gonna say that because Thirst or no, that because uh, Oren had a plus three in strength, that he should just carry it. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, make me the bitch of the party. Just, okay. Just, 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 just no. <laughs> uh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. At this point, Speaker and fucking Zoran are set. Like, here we go. We've got the First, we've invented a bike. Mode. Now we're on to blimps. <laughs> hey, airships exist. Technology's there. That's true. That's very <laughs> true. All right. All right. I will, I will allow this on two conditions. One, condition the first. Both of you are spending your <laughs> declaration for this. Are uh, you good with that, Speaker? You're good? Absolutely. You're good. Right. You ride or die for the blimp. Yeah, yeah. Condition the second. This will require a crafting check uh, with Oren assisting. Oh, hell yeah. Wait. Wait, you said that. <laughs> I have did. a minus one crafting. Go fuck yourself. Just, just give it me. It all comes back to that intelligence check, my friend. Hey, guys. Let's, let's, you're, let's. you're forgetting the other guy who has an expert in crafting. Just you, saying. Yeah, you, me. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we need a fellow craftsman to help out. Ruhua, you are made out of wood. Surely you can help us. That's not what quite how that works. All of you are like trained okay. in crafting. <laughs> Arn looks at his wood hand. Oh. Oh. It's okay. One day you'll be made entirely out of wood too, although you probably won't be alive when that happens. So I assure I, I, you, my body is what? not biodegradable. I could be made of wood whatever I want. Uh, all right. He literally casts tree shape. Oh, okay. All right. There he goes. He turns into a tree. <laughs> All right, so what does that reduce his crafting to? <laughs> oh, it doesn't change his crafting at all. It just it just allows him to be a tree. Zoran and I talked about this before Orin, the session. This don't spell turn yourself allows him into a marketable to be a tree. poplar tree. <laughs> all right. The tree like shifts away, just rustles angrily. <laughs> you can move. Yeah, no, you're a tree. <laughs> you're a tree. Uh, all right, so I'm going to say, yes. for expediency's sake, oh, for you're sure, like, is in, you know, bladders being sold on the market, some things that can be purposed into balloons, perhaps some different materials that could potentially give off swamp gas. Hell, maybe they sell swamp gas for some reason. I don't know. It's a trading post. Mm -hmm. um, do they sell swamp gas? Uh, well, can, can, let's let, let, let the let's man finish his, his sales pitch let's here. Let's find out. Okay. <laughs> I am going yes. to make my crafting check to try to make a rudimentary um, dirigible-based flotation device. Okay. I am fascinated by the inevitable nat one. I'm I'm looking. For, I'm already pulling up like hard yeah. DCs for tasks oh, right now. This is good. I got a, I got my specialty, and I got my nanite surge. Yeah, let's go. Nothing he is go committing wrong. so hard to this. Oh, I saw that one. Oh, one I saw the one. I saw the one. Let me tell you, the transportation revolution has begun. 
<laughs> oh, most importantly, who's assisting him? You know, is yes. Project uh, uh, oh. Who who is assisting? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Get Baldrick in on it. Not me. I I, well, oh, yeah, yeah. or in like steps and. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I presume at some point coming back to camp, Baldrick will behold the pulley and bladder system in which Tannhauser. Yeah, like at this okay. point, like at, at this point, as you are you are building, like uh, 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 as as you are building your flying pack mule, um, <laughs> or at least like like, and then again, this is kind of I, I'm guessing your your sort of keep yourself busy project as the you know the the trading post is gathering all of the supplies and getting them ready like like the, the pavilion tent and the various items are being um are be, being put down like beside like tanhauser as tanhauser is actively like construct conning this thing um we're, 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 we're now getting well into like midday there have been some new arrivals at camp you see a um, a group of finely dressed, um, like business uh, business people. Two of them very clearly uh, guards, and one of them, kind of like a almost like a almost like a workhorse herself. A woman in her mid maybe thirties, early forties, uh, like with with backpacks and satchels, and carrying like what looks to be a fairly firm. Uh, well well built lantern is sort of like moving in and they go into the trading post this is all happening as you are you are beginning your construction and you're having a lot of a lot of good success here tanhauser and that's when when baldrick you would come by and see this this thing being constructed here uh hey tanhauser got a question for you ah baldrick a fellow craftsman how might i help you what exactly are you doing here well, are you familiar with the dirigigants of Lord Golgotha's? No, but I'm aware of what blimps are. Fantastic. Then you would know that I am attempting to replicate this technology for the purposes of our swamp expedition. What's it gonna do? Well, ideally, it should be operating as a pseudo-airship. We don't quite have all the materials and time to create something that can act Actually fly or, or even scout above the foliage, or at least reliably for long periods of time. But we should have ample enough to have a cart, a cart that we can utilize above the swampy, murky waters, something we can ride above the normal accoutrements of this decrepit land, and in so doing, haul our survival gear. How are we planning on pulling this exactly? Well, the idea is, is that the flotation devices shall do the job for us. They'll require constant expenditure of flame, as well as oscillation of the different gas valves, but it should be more than enough to handle us on our journey. Can I inspect this to see if that is what he is actually accomplishing here and how much time it will take to construct such a complicated device as that? Absolutely, you may. Okay, what would I be rolling? The crafting? Crafting, crafting, check it. Okay, am I getting any bonuses? Uh, not not chemical savant because that's not relevant. But not not in this case. No. I got a twenty-five. Uh, you're able to tell that like Tanhauser is is certainly building something that will basically be able to carry a couple bulk worth of supplies above the ground and very little more. Uh, the, the the tales of, like, having multiple people riding this over the swamp are entirely far-fetched, and at most you're probably going to be able to keep some of your your supplies off of this. That's that's realistically what he's built, which is still very impressive given the skill check. So, I need to ask now, is is this thing going to be self-propelling, or are we going to have to do the propelling? Uh, it will need, like, constant infusions of, of gases and, like, cleaning of bladders and other equipment. Presumably we can get Orin to do that. He is a, he is a, he is a nature person, after all. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll, the just, I'll just be bitch, but it's fine. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. Do janitor work. Yeah, you're you're right. a you're a na you're a nature person. That makes you a shoo-in for this factory job. 
Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> I'm glad. He needs, he I'm, needs I'm, to I'm get la- the swamp gas into the fucking gas bag so we can move the blimp. Well, presumably. Wow. So what's all this? Oh, for fuck's sake. Arn immediately hi, throws hi, mud Bobby. in his mouth. Hey, kid. This is one of them Dirigima blimps, isn't it? Yeah. It is something um, like it. The first steps on our road to our, our innovation. The swamp. The swamp. An innovative oh, hey, way Bowling. to cross the swamp. Thank you. Or that, an, uh, that looks that looks that looks real 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 sturdy. Like you could probably probably put some supplies on that. I think. Yes. Um, Hopefully. Can I can I um can I do like an intelligent or a crafting check <laughs> to see how uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Check. look I'm trying to role play this in characters so don't metagame the fuck out of this again Orn wants to give <laughs> Tan Hauser a suggestion but I don't want to just say it out loud I'm going to see how stupid it sounds may I do so with my minus one crafting you may okay. I just thank you chat we're never leaving this trading post we're at this trading okay. post Orn got forever. a 12 <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, so I'll, I'll try okay to. I'll try to I'm trying to do this out. Orin kind of comes up to Tannhauser, and as he's watching Tannhauser build his blimp, uh, Orin kind of like tugs out. I'm like, Mr. Tannhauser. Yes, Orin. Uh, could we, instead of making a large elaborate device, now that I see him, it's kind of foolhardy and very high maintenance, and I don't like hard labor sometimes every day. Um,. What if we did something to where it could kind of glide on the water, and if it was almost a sink, it would just float? So use the bags to make it float or something. And then the yeah. easier to, instead of going wheels, it could like slide along somehow. Well, Orin, that would have been a nice suggestion if I wasn't already six hours into its construction! Oh, well, I thought you would have thought of it. Well, I would imagine that the gases, if we were forced to have it make a crash landing, would allow it to float rather than to sink. It has been designed with this in mind. However, once we run out of gases, it shall be difficult to keep this thing propelled or even floating. I should hope that the buoyancy of the structure shall see us through. Okay, well... Um, okay, okay, your... so so Baldrick, or and a tan I just want to ask, can we get a yes. freaking pack mule? I was, well, 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 all of you are, like, discussing the finer points of Pac-Mule's Blimpo also Dynamics. also sink. Um, <laughs> you want to do the fucking never-ending story bit where we get attached to a Only Pac-Mule? if you get attached to it. Well, well I am... Do you, is that why you want a living creature to watch it die in the swamps of sadness? If yeah. we're going to be sold a Pact Mule, but presumably it's a thing to inclined Rahua. to work here. Are you ready for that responsibility, Baldrick? I don't care. I'm going to firebomb you. (laughs) The camera cuts to Rahua, who stands motionless, staring at the increasing argument of his companions. (laughs) And then then, then Rahua's single monocular eye shifts slightly to see Pick turns Squelchfoot pacing around the ever-growing stash of equipment that is being delivered. Like, like, Kind of like holding holding his hand on his chin, like, hmm, oh, this is a dilly of a pickle. Hmm, okay. And then you see Rahua pick turn, and, and again, in the side of this frame, we have the, the party continuing their argument. Oh, what about the pack mule? Never ending story. Um, but then we see pick turn kind of like moving things together, um, like trying to arrange all of the, the equipment you've purchased. So it's like it, in, a, in a fine Tetris. Uh, what are you? do when you see this, Rahua? Picturn, it seems we have a bit more than we are equipped to carry at this time. What do you think? He looks at you. Well, what I was thinking was I could cast this spell I mentioned called Floating Disc. Whoop! And this magical disc literally lifts everything of all of your equipment out of the swamp. It's pretty useful, isn't it? How long does floating disc last for? Oh, uh, is that Orin? Is Orin just turned like, how long does it last for? Oh, well, usually about eight hours a day, but I can cast it a few times if we need. Polly puts her head in her hands. Oh. 
Arn looks to the group. Do we want to rely on Picturn? Do we really need to rely on him? Well, shrugs. Hold on a second. Equipment. You're telling me that Picturn could create a floating disc to allow objects to float off the ground. This will be perfect for the hover device. <laughs> Picturn, cast floating disc upon the hover device. It will be the best way to conserve methane. Okay, okay, so please tell me that for the rest of this fucking adventure, we have speakers like beautiful but totally impractical dirigible that Picturn casts floating disc on just to give the appearance that it works. Yes. It, and when and when the Picturn gets eaten by a swamp gator, we'll activate the dirigible and it will work. Explode. <laughs> right? And it will No no no. Hulk, you see that is it working. Oh, good. I, I'm i sorry. My, it's a my pinto. small, low intellect brain did not grasp the explicit intent of the dirigible was to... The decorate. dirigible, the so dirigible is an airship version of the Pinto. You can't counterspell a dirigible. You can only shoot it. <laughs> Something <laughs> arguably easier to do. Wow. Tannhauser, that was a great idea. Looks like we got ourselves some fine teamwork. He goes to high five you. Zorn raises five his him. hand. <laughs> Uh, the the cosmic entity known as Gumaster uh, acknowledges Zorin. What is the total bulk of all of our inventory and that cart? Uh, so, so I was looking at this. The stuff that's in the people's loot currently is um, less than five bulk. Okay, <laughs> and the cart. How much bulk is the cart? Yeah. Oh, I can I can find that out. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Remember, the cart is that, alleviating yeah. some of the bulk by floating. No, the yeah. the cart it can't lift the cart if it goes uh, over sure five can bolts. because because the cart was was made to be lifted by swamp gas so it's like it's like one bulk in itself this bitch is made like, of balsa wood it's gonna yeah like 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 speaker was very much like it has to be propelled by swamp gas guys I just want to say this has been an excellent forty minutes oh I agree I oh. am so <laughs> you're welcome well everyone spent. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is the real reason chat comes here. This is the deep floor. <laughs> All right. We have our cart. Well, that was great teamwork, though. Hey, guys, I that was the best what teamwork I've ever seen. Now that we have prepared ourselves to leave after wasting a giant amount of time in the day for it, what exactly are we doing once we get out to the swamps again? Weeping. <laughs> Be beyond that. Well, there, there's, a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of terrain around here to, 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 to look at. Now, I was thinking maybe we could go back inside the trading post, get one of those tables, and, and maybe talk about w what direction we're going to and what the area is like. Um, uh, Mister, Mister Zap, uh, I, I bought a map off him for five gold pieces that I thought might help us out. Hey, turn. Do you know anybody who can? help out with this and he kind of waves his his hand in front of his eyes with his rot infested eyes uh well, well well um sort of like like blinks and shyly looks away from you uh well, well uh weren't you weren't you going out in the 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 the, the, the swamp to find them them twang folk they, they're supposed to be primalists they they probably know yeah do you have any That's idea where they may be well, how about we go in, we sit down, and we plan this out. We, we strategize. Okay. We're going to have to, I think. Unless we plan on walking out in the swamp and not coming back, which, you know, we could very easily do if we wanted to die. That'll be our plan B. Let's have some positivity here. You know, my brother, his name was uh, Denis. He always thought that it was real smart that what you should do is you should always be positive. Because if you are always positive... Anyway, things... let's go and okay. see the map. Thank you very much, Picture, and I ruffle his hair. Thanks. Uh, all right. So so you, you go inside, like sit sit at one of the tables, like picture and picture and gets you all drinks. He comes back. Big smile. All right. So like I said, I paid that some gold for a map of the region. So here we go. He sets the map down on the table. All right. So where slightly southwest of this X. Picture. This oh. is just a strip of paper. <laughs> 
Oh, I see. With an X on it. Oh. Well, it says outset there too. It. That's not it even sure where does. I could have made this You're on so a good at reading. Five minutes. I need uh, the audio people to know that the the asset for this is entitled "Near Useless Map." <laughs> There is a small object identified as outset with a red X on it. There are a couple stains, presumably blood, maybe coffee, maybe beer, and a large compass in the bottom left. The paper is torn, crumpled, and looks like garbage. Uh, you could wipe your ass with this and no one would know. Hmm. Well, you know, this is, uh, this is great work, Picturn. Um, this map is... Incredibly useless. Useless. Wrong. Yeah. Well, we. I, I guess we can wander the swamp and see where it takes us. Let's. We could go and that. shake down your bug friend and make him give us a better map. How about this? Baldr kind of places his hands on the table and and looks around at everyone. Why don't we try to find someone who knows the swamp? Picturn, you said you know the swamp, right? Well, well, I, I have an idea of exploration. I, you know, I, I don't know this swamp. We established that last time rather, rather diligently. I just, I have a good understanding of things and places. Good enough. I'm, I'm, okay. So what we need now, we need someone who knows the swamp and can give us a map. I don't know who that would be. It could be Vic. We could ask any of the other people around here. There's probably going to be a cartographer at least in the area because you can make a good bit of money being a cartographer, hanging yourself around the trade post for any yahoo who comes through here hey Oren. yeah can you uh give me a survival check please sure can Oren, survive no uh Oren got a 24. okay so Oren, like as this is as as this discussion is going on like you you click into your survival instinct and you look at this map and you like get a sense of scale based on your knowledge like a 24 is, is a pretty solid result here um and like within moments uh or in you like you would have a solid understanding of like how much space and dimension there would be uh even how you could probably like fill this map out uh to use as a basis for something to explore the region with Orin looks at picture and goes, "Say, hey, you got a pen? You like a little quill or something?" Oh, of course I do. This one belonged to my sister Janine. Okay, now, thank you, Janine, picture. She... And Orin starts <laughs> sketching, and basically he's like, "He's like, okay, well, this is one thing my my uh, my dad used to t teach me." And start, he starts making these like you know hexagons and stuff, and starts kind of like sketching these. Like, okay, well, we went to here, we went to here, and it, it's, yeah, and here's all the bullshit here. Okay. This is what I feel like we're currently at right now. Okay, okay. Uh, so so as though to uh, to exemplify that, well, huah! okay. Let's let's hope this this works. All right. Um, <laughs> he he draws a hexagon a hexagon based map. Yeah, uh, Zoran, <laughs> if you want to zoom out just a bit too to show the the like the entire oh, thing yeah. uh, of this this map. Um, okay, so this is the region that you are you are exploring at this moment. Um, so to the to the northeast of you uh, is is the city of Outset that is sort of of marked here. Um, then you are currently at a, a section that is a trading post. You know around you are um, various marshlands, so like regions to essentially the, the west, northwest, south uh, are all difficult marshlands. Uh, yeah, we're, we're Orin, Orin has made Settlers of Outset. It's good. Uh, it's fun. I, I was about to point that out because someone in chat made me snicker real hard. <laughs> this Pathfinder session interrupted by Settlers of Catan. <laughs> um, and so, so you, you like or you're able to to sort of lock this out. You're also able to put in some like rather thick, th like thick lines on the, the specific region you know you need to explore. This sort of southwestern region where you know the Twang folk are are located. Um, and, and like very quickly, I'm going to explain like Orin as as your your survival check has given you a bunch of just like knowledge on this. Um, you would know that roughly each of these hex or each of these hexes is roughly uh, 12 miles across. Uh, and okay. depending on the terrain, it will take you 
a good amount of time to travel. For example, any of these like marshlands, these swamplands that are nearby would take your group about three days to travel through from one end to another. So if you wanted to like basically like say you went into the, the, the hex adjacent to you to here, if you wanted to go to any of the other adjacent hex, it would take you three days of travel. If you found like maybe less less marshy more foresty that might be two days if you found some more open terrain that could be yeah. one day but you know like immediately around you the terrain is is pretty pretty brutal for traveling it feels like every time i look at this it's like okay what do i have to do to make sure my torso isn't exposed to the uh to the wolf ring to the north Look, look, those LRMs are coming whether you like it or not, okay? <laughs> Quick, hit him in the back armor, it's weaker. Orin's back, yeah, back armor, armor does not exist. He put it all in his chest, face. Chest. I have mobility four. I'm good. Continue. You dare ignore my patrol. Oh! So, like, Orin, you've sketched this all out for everyone and, like, placed it on the table and sort of, like, created these, these hexes now that people can see. Yeah, so we're here, and this is where the no-no place is, and we need to find where uh, those folks are. Well, may yeah. as well go to the location where we can see the most from. Maybe we could. We should ask around. You know, if oh, it's if only we, thirteen feet away. If yeah, if we uh, <laughs> yeah yeah, shut up. Um, <laughs> Very this is this small. by the way chat this is this is because Erndel was showing off his fallout game to me yesterday and was like look at how i've made the like the the the, the draw distance work and i'm like very impressive Erndel. i did not do that <laughs> um, because it's just hexes but anyways um yeah so 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 picture like maybe we could talk to some people here scrounge up some information we don't really know the i don't know the lay of this land too much i can tell you though uh the caravan i was with they were off somewhere in in this direction here i'm gonna pick a color that is not fucking gray to make that stand out one sec just yeah, have bleed on the map. Somewhere, somewhere in that direction. All right, so we'd want to be heading northwest, ideally. Well, that's where my caravan that that got attacked was. Now, I I don't know if that's the direction you want to go in. Uh, we may want to talk talk to some people here. I mean, we're gonna have to spend the night. I assume we're not gonna go out in the swamp in the middle of the night. That that'd be crazy talk, right? No, we are not doing that. But if we happen upon your wrecked caravan, we could at least look for supplies there. Might be useful. Undoubtedly. Or ideally, maybe a map. Undoubtedly, any supplies within that caravan would have been taken by the raiders. It would be far more beneficial to our coffers to find them. Yeah, they 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 seem more interested in sitting everything on fire with their 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 flaming weapons and whatnot. Oh, is that true? Seems a bit wasteful. Oh, oh yeah, I did I, I think I mentioned this last time when they came at us? They had these they had these swords and stuff, and they put some some kind of some kind of juice like like Mr. Baldrick has there, and put it on, and it lit up like a bonfire. In fact, it remem reminds me of the summer festival at Nether's Important branch. Keep in mind anyway, is that robbers tend to not leave anything of value behind if their goal was just to kill and destroy. They would probably have killed and destroyed to the degree that they wanted. As to whether or not that's everything in the caravan, that's another issue. But we can at least get an idea of where they might have gone if we inspect it. Hmm. Maybe so. And we have no idea where these rot adjacent individuals are, these medicinal helpers that we need. Flying folk! Yes. We can at least figure it out once we get a firm idea of where they might function. And again, if we bump into those bandits, I'm certain we could probably take them on, provided it's not an army. Or we could get the drop on them. Whichever works, really. As far as they end up dead or capitulated, I don't really give a damn. Right. So, uh, you said the Twang Fork to the southwest, correct? Um, you don't really know, like, an exact location. I think you've, you've heard, like, 
like possibly just out like southwest is in the region that's kind of the region of the map you're in oh okay. the so, biggest the biggest yeah. swath we can get is in here and then we can try to figure it out from the yeah, yeah. For for ease of like you don't just completely go off in the wrong direction. Uh that's why some of these are like darkened like these hexes up here are all darkened. We're not gonna um, beeline yeah. for the coast. Yeah. Right. Um Have we uh, asked anyone in the settlement about where the Twang folk might be? Fuck no. <laughs> No, yeah, exactly. Not, yeah. My point. We still I was going to have mean, Orin go I, 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 I made this pretty clear. Been like, maybe we should ask around. I have I'm, tried to say this. Well, okay. Well, I'm going to do one better, and then rather than just try to say it, I'm going to find my bug boyfriend. Uh, the new, the one that I intimidated with oh. my very pucker story. Absolutely. You can see he's um he's currently uh Zabu Zap is currently in the the back area uh counting up several coins from all of the the day's purchases as Tanhauser you depart the table to go go speak to him. Uh, uh, Zabu Zap. Mm, yes, hello. How are you faring? Uh, your your influx of coin is much appreciated. I hope my trading post can continue to supply you on your missions into the solitude. Uh, Zinlock Thalahast has many secrets. Mm. And, and and yes, yes, yes. And um, give me a perception check as well, Tenhazer. I absolutely will. Sorry, I was drinking water. How dare you? How dare I? You over my How dare to am my I? Own water. Okay. Oh, there it is. Ah, 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 ah. All right, here we go. Ah. Aha! Oh, 29. So as this conversation is happening, you also see that in the pile is a, a second set of coins that has been spent that is slightly um, higher than the amount of coins your group has spent. And you can tell that these coins are also of a higher quality. Like, they look like they're in, like, a better mint, um, possibly, like, more of more of a noble aesthetic to them. Um, and you see that, like, Zabblezap has this set of coins off to the side from yours, but has been counting everything sort of together. Those coins, they seem rather ritzy. Are we not your top customers? Not, 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 not today, no. But, but but very much appreciated. I am this trading post caters to everyone who is interested. Well, I'm happy to hear that. But now I'm curious. Who yes. are these other individuals? Uh, can you give me a diplomacy check? But give yourself a plus four circumstance modifier for the fact that this bug is terrified of you. Excellent. Uh, must be a plus four. That'll do it. Hell yeah. No, it won't. Okay. Hey, plus four. Let's rock. Oh! Rock, 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 rock and roll. E. Nine. Yeah, I'm unaware. Um, like, yeah, you can tell. I, I cannot discern details of um, clients, but uh, should you wish, they are over there. And um, sort of Zabel Zap nods to to a table at the the far edge of the the inside of the trading post, where there is, I, I believe, I mentioned the, the the woman who has sort of all this this gear on her, her two guards, um, uh, like a, a fairly ornate lantern is like placed at their table that. It's very much a different light source uh, than the types that are in the in the post itself. Uh, and this this woman and her her you know attaches sort of sit and are drinking and having like a, a very conservative meal. I see. Uh, what were the name of the people that we're looking for again? I'm so sorry. The Twang right, folk. Twang folk. I'm going to look at Zabel Zap. I see. And one more thing. Yes. What do you know about the Twang folk? Mm. Adherents of old powers who regularly move and live in the regions. We've had dealings with them before. Off and on, we, we trade goods. We sometimes uh, provide supplies and information to outset caravans that go to bring them supplies, and the city often sends them goods. Ah, fantastic. Do you have any idea where they are located? 
They keep their exact location secretive, and it is always moving, but they are out to the west. Out to the west? Any in town, to your knowledge? Oh, no, not not here, no, not, not at this moment. They come in maybe once a year, maybe. Mm, I see. Well, thank you, Zapple Zapped. And mm. I'm going to leave him, mm -hmm. uh, look over at the group having their dinner, and then I decide I'm going to go back to the party. Uh, if we decide to confront these people, I'll do it with just more. Yeah, yeah, people. yeah. Okay, so so Tan Tanazer, you 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 left the group who who still consists of everyone but you, like looking over the map. So as Tanhauser is going away, oh, I, I, Picturn looks at all of you. I guess he's going to uh, to talk to to the proprietor. Uh, so what do you, what do y'all think we should do? I mean, Bal Baldrick, you you think we should head out to my caravan? Like I said, I think it's in this direction now. Can't take my word for it though. I got lost in there. <laughs> and like I said, I got in that fog and who just didn't know where I was going. It reminds me of this time nothing at this point so it's oh. a direction we can explore with a potential location if failing that we can come back and really time is more or less on our side as long as we continue to avoid going down he shoots a sidelong glance at volley knowing full well that time literally is on our side because the more time we spend the more the heat goes down but you know gives us increased chance of volley dying and that's bad so well, we definitely want to find these Twang folk first. Speaking, uh, personally, I think that, um, my most pressing matter would be attending to, you know, this. I just gesture at my face. Oh, there's, there's nothing wrong with you. You're fine. Don't worry. We'll, we're going to solve all, all that. Precisely my point in finding this caravan, because potentially it could give us some ideas, and if the people who burnt it down have long since abandoned it, maybe valuables there, there may even be some locals picking around it, and they may have a better idea of where we're going. It's a location of interest that could theoretically help us out, as long as, of course, we actually find it. Therein lies the rub, doesn't it? Well, it's a better direction than we've had for anything else. Unless you plan on striking out in the middle of the swamp. Finding no, God certainly work. not. What, what, what about you, Rahua? What, what, what do you think? I mean, uh, th th you seem kind of naturally inclined like, like Orin is here. Maybe you got some information thoughts on all this? Well, well there's my, f right. my first sorry, sorry. question. What the fuck? <laughs> or, or he gets stabbed immediately by Rahua just for him. I apologize. I'm doing five million things in the background. I heard Oren and I thought someone's calling me. I'm so sorry. Keep going. <laughs> I, I wanted to ask, uh, how did how exactly did you get lost previously? Oh well, you're yeah, asking me to tell a story. That's good. All right, no, he sits up really you to tell happy. A story, picture. Perhaps I, something more important. What happened? Uh, well, well, I was I was with a caravan out of out of outset. I think I mentioned that. I uh, got 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 all sorts of caught up with them. Uh, they they were making I think their way. They were going to send some goods to the the Twang folk. They got some kind of some kind of old style accords where where they do good. They send goods to the Twang folk because of all the good the Twang folk do out here with their their primal stuff i i don't know the specifics anyways i found this caravan they seem rather nice you know they 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 like some of the little little magic bits i could do you know one of them also reminded me of my brother uh Bilimus. now i think that he just was was glad to have someone who had a musical instrument made the made the journey a bit easier you know some nights it was just it was real hard being in the swamp the wagon that they were using it got stuck twice i think the crew there hadn't done it much now, when it got stuck the second time, we decided we'd take a break, and that's when overnight these these folk they they just came at us. I I mean there was there was no parlay and there was nothing. They 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 shot full of arrows first, and then they came in and they put that little little juice on their swords, and the swords just lit up, and they. Um, 
you know, it was, it was, it was awful, awful, like, like the burning and the fire. And I, you know, I, 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 I just got knocked unconscious at some point in the scuffle. I was trying to keep everyone motivated with my pipes. And then, then I woke up and it was all over. And at this point, uh, Tannhauser, you approach and, uh, you know, well, it's the picture nods and smiles at you without stop, without stopping. Yeah, Baldrick stop. bashes him well, on the okay. shoulder to shut him up so we oh. can listen to Tannhauser. Oh, oh. oh. comrades. I have news. News? One, we can likely find the people we're searching for to the west. They are a nomadic people that aren't often found around here, but are noted to be situated somewhere in that direction. Secondly, there is a second client for our dearest Zabble Zap. A rich and wealthy, well-to-do individual with a small gathering of gods. It may be worth it understanding what brings them to these necks of the woods. Where the shot. We don't all need to do that, though. Might also scare them off if we all, you know, gather around them. Exactly. Which is why I would volunteer Vali, and perhaps someone of her choice, to go ascertain the nature of this individual. Meanwhile, I can continue work on the dirigible. Oh, are you gonna need my, my, my floating disc to help with your project? No. Oh, okay. That well, it's always there if you need it. I, I just, I like helping. It's in the pick turn squilch foot family motto, you know, help. Molly, who are you taking? <laughs> Well, which one of you is a good schmoozer? Uh, let me check my skills, because I don't think Baldrick's very good at it. No, he is not. He's quite terrible at it, in fact. But he can, he can explode. I think all of you except Volley are terrible. Like, I think Volley is the <laughs> only one of you fucks who has diplomacy. Yeah, I didn't take diplomacy oh this time because I got tired of doing it. <laughs> I have plus one. Is, is, that, our, is that our highest? Arn has a minus one. <laughs> remember, remember right. the talk of like how the party needs, you know, like a face character. No, you are the face character. I guess I am the <laughs> face character. Oh god. Yeah. Uh, well, sick. it seems like with a plus one, Rahu is our winner. Rahu, you want to come with? Sure. Are you feeling particularly schmoozy today? If, if you don't, don't worry, Rahua. I got a whole story about my family I can tell you. In fact, I got a good I, I just one give him I a think. look. I just look at Rahua. I can go with you if it would help. All right. I'm sure it will. Shall we? Let us be off. All right, bye. But don't don't forget, I'll tell you about the, the tree in the center of town one day, Rahua. I think you'll get a hoot out of it. Now, where were we, friends? As Pictern really turns to the okay. rest of you. I, I hear the word, word hoot, and I just have PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> Looks as, over her shoulder. <laughs> as Vali and Rahua leave, they see Orin just look at them with, like, pleading, like, puppy dog eyes, like, don't leave oh. me here. <laughs> but as soon as you leave, you just kind of see Orin just stuffing his face, like stuffing Picturn's face with mud. Like, stop, stop. So I, I Baldrick, give him like Baldrick a salute. Is right here. I just also imagine because like Speaker has the bit of Tannhauser actually being interested in these terrible stories. There's just the <laughs> nodding from him. Yeah, Tannhauser is just like, ah, oh, continue, Comrade Picturn. The attention is being incident. What is fine. How many go, go pigs will lose at Country Farm? All right. So, so Volley and Rua abandoned poor <laughs> Orin and Baldrick. Um and yeah, you 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 make your way uh to, towards towards the other table where you can see at the far end uh, there's this woman who is who's laden down with equipment. Um, and and these the, these two uh two human men uh who are you know be bedecked in like studded leathers, um but. The studs are, are pretty few and far between. It looks like the material, though, is is very well tailored. They almost look like um, like business attire, something you would see like for professional security services. Um, at their sides, they both have uh, what appear to be maces and then short swords, and then they've also got like bows that they have put off to the side. Um, both of them have 
immediately noticed as you, you've come and approached. The, the woman, again, she's sort of in this, like, late 30s, early 40s, has a bit of, like, darkened black hair, um, it's pulled back in into a bit of, like, a bun. Um, her clothing is, vi as opposed to the other two, which are, are fairly form-fitting um, with, like, overcoats, hers is, like, she looks like the Michelin Man, just full of, like, gear and equipment. Um, and like it, it's clear that like her her actual clothing is is very loose fitting to allow her to like put things on and like a, a, has a sense of you know someone who has no idea what they're doing walking down the Walmart camping aisle and buying one of everything, um, and and then the, she's sitting there with this this lantern, uh, and she looks up at like last minute as as the two of you are approaching the table. Well, somebody's prepared. Uh, yes, ye yes, I am. As uh, uh, we are, I should say, it's a, a pleasure to meet you. Z uh, can yes, I ask certainly. why you have, have come over? Have we done something wrong? I'm not familiar with all of the um, socialities of this place. Um, oh no, no, no! Just interested to see other travelers here, and you certainly look like you're. Uh, Ready to travel far? What's all this stuff for? Oh, um, well, we are, um, we are, we are traveling, uh, we're going south, uh, to investigate this, this thing, uh, this, this, this ruins, I should say. Um, yeah, yeah, ruins to the, to the south. Oh, ruins to the south? So are you guys, like, adventurers? I just sit down across from her, just completely uh, casually, and kind of put my chin on my hand and just lean in. One of the one of the like the the men sort of like puts a puts a hand on the the pommel of the, the like the sword and like this woman sort of waves like no 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 it's fine. We're just having conversation. Fine. We're adventurers too, you see, my friend and I. Not uh, this is who no, of, am, by the way. I am not an adventurer. Uh, yes, your your Anna Kreit Conrasu friend. Oh, you're familiar with the Conrasu. Just called me a tree. That's a first, isn't it? It is a first. Thank you. Yeah. But just because you say you are not an adventurer does not mean you are not an adventurer. After all, you're going to explore ruins, something that only adventurers and archaeologists, as short-lived as they tend to be, do. <laughs> No, 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 no. We are we are, we are we are we uh, are business-minded individuals. We are uh, uh, we are uh, members of the BMF Co. Uh, you can give me a society check. Oh, society. Uh, society. Right. I'm okay in society. Society. Oh, okay. You're good. Uh, I know everything about nice. these guys. I guess. What did you roll? Uh, natural twenty. There you go. For a twenty-seven, uh, yeah, BMF uh, Co. is a is a company uh, from the Kings and Queens Palaster and Outset. It stands for Beaufort, Matthias, Faust and Company. Uh, BMF is a company that was primarily made up of, the, of those three who were barristers. Uh, they did a lot of legal cases in Outset, but once they had amassed a sizable fortune, what they ended up spending it on was, rather than like reinvesting and doing more legal work and increasing their practice, they instead started uh, funding expeditions, but they, they specialized a lot in expeditions that went outside of Outset rather than underneath. So they aren't in direct competition with like the Delvers who you know delve the buried city underneath. Uh, BMF sends expeditions semi-regularly outside of Outset to investigate things like runes and whatnot. Interesting. Have I robbed these people before? <laughs> um, Your choice. <laughs> works, works well. Um, that's interesting. So these guys are essentially just a company that steals from ruins well explores yeah ruins. like like if i if like they, they kind of have like shades of like i don't know like hudson's bay company style like it, individuals if you want to go with like a modern twist um they're they're like they they sell goods uh and tend to like sponsor expeditions to find things that they can then resell interesting so um what's the deal with these ruins to the south any sort of a uh, history to him, or just found some ruins sticking out and decided to go digging? Um, 
both of you give me a perception check, both Rahua and Vali, please. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, my perception's not terrible. Okay. That's a 19. That's a 23. Oh. Uh, can you mark me down a hero point, please? Oh, or no. Or point, please? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Just gonna... Failing to notice the pistol aimed Just gonna, so just gonna, to... just gonna re-roll this little... Yeah, okay, cool. Um, th th thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this, this one kind of, like, stutters over her words a bit as you, as you bring up the runes. Well, well, um, you see, it's, um, how can I be saying this? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, and then, like, kind of, like, like stutters. I'd uh, say, and Rahua, you get the distinct impression as she's speaking. She is, like, averting, intentionally averting her eyes from you. Hmm. Inch rest. Uh, the very uh, very, very unknown runes. We we sort of have uh, some some basic information about them. You see, they are to the, uh, the, the the southwest of here. Wow! How fun. I, I mean, if you're maybe um, looking for some extra hands. Well, uh, I mean, certainly. I hope I don't. No, no, ma'am. No, don't, don't, don't. One of oh. the other ones. Uh, it's, it's all right, Albert. It's all right. Uh, uh, apologies. These are my, uh, the, my, my, my hired assistants. Uh, also members of, of BMF. Uh, oh. That is Albert, and and that is uh, Mogens. And like both of them give give you nuts. I should point out, like both of these have like incredible handlebar mustaches. Oh, yes. Uh, very oh, clean well, shaven. Um, like, you can see sort of suspenders underneath their jackets with their, like, leathers on. Yeah. I gotta so, say, uh, the mustaches, some of the best I've seen in Outset. Probably the best. You two should be proud. Uh, I'm, I'm, sh I'm schmoozing the shit out of these guys. Schmooze. Right, well. Volley, while you, do, while you distract them, Rahul, turn his attention the woman something tells me these ruins are not as unknown as you let on call it intuition but I dare say you may have some use for someone of my who will kind of move his head up and down gesturing about his, his body someone of my progeny Um, let's see here. What social skills does Rahua have? <laughs> Fuck not. Oh, you have intimidation. You can absolutely be an intimidating tree man as you lean in and say those words. You wouldn't happen to be plundering Kanrasu ruins, would you? It's a grave and sin against the universe itself, didn't you? 24. Oh, <laughs> big number. Uh, the, the woman's eyes go go a bit wide. Uh, as as her eyes go wide, you can also see that the lantern seems to light up, like like her her own like emotions cause the lantern to react a bit. Uh, and she she looks at you. Well, I I suppose when I say it's it's unknown to us, I very commonly the ruins in uh, in 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 the the low sins here of the solitude they are. Uh, Often fundamental in nature? I see. You see, there were many sieges of outset in, in millennia ago, ancient, even earliest days. Siege towers, structures, all, all of them out, out in the sea. Out, out there to be found. We we sometimes find them and see what is in them. Um, in, in this case, it uh, appeared to be some structure. I, I don't know exactly what it was. There was uh, talk of, 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 of strange metal. If it's strange metal, I dare say you would be right on the money with being fundamental in origin. In fact, I have known of these structures and remnants of these bygone eras for some time. I myself have 
done my own researches in my jaunts through the solitude, and I'm no stranger to plainer bleed out in these parts in the deepest reaches of the swamps. If I may amend my previous statement, I dare I say you may not want me, I think you are in dire need of someone of my experience and knowledge. Especially to navigate when, well, forces less inclined to reason as you or myself may be lurking. I like for that whole delivery, you sounded like the G-Man, and I was honestly terrified. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I, I suppose we might need uh, some some assistance on our way. We, we're leaving first thing tomorrow. Uh, we're heading to the southwest. As just, that's our Great. plan. Great! So we have a deal then, right? Uh, uh, um, well, uh, I, maybe we can help you out, you know, for just a paltry sum and make sure that you have the absolute best to ensure that you get to this ruin safe and you get back to your BFE co or whatever it is. BMF. That, what he said. I can give you my word that I am not interested in plundering the treasure that you may be after, more so understanding the nature of how these things came to be and why they persist. And the, the better you understand the it, state. the better the price. Yes. I, 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 I suppose. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll uh, 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 we, we may have some, some guests joining us, and that is fine. <sighs> I don't like it. I, I don't like it either. But we like you guys so much. I'm ambivalent. What's my name? She tell she told us the names. Now uh, uh, Odo isn't very good with names, but I, I'm sure Volley is. <laughs> uh, it was Albert, and uh, I just heard like a Mogus. <laughs> just like a, <laughs> Albert and a Mogus. <laughs> How about you make a? Isn't there a recall check? There's a there's a flat D twenty roll I will allow Odo to make here. All right, I got you, I got you, I got you. Um, watch <laughs> this concealment. It comes back. Look, you remember it's it's Mogan. <laughs> it's not a Mogan. <laughs> Listen, I have uh, I I'm very good at hearing things and understanding things. It's why I uh, have captions on when I watch Netflix. <laughs> honestly, I just honestly, like that forever. This this NPC will now just be a Mogus. Very good. Anyway. A Mogus. A um, um, Mogus. Um. Uh, yeah. I relay that back to them. Uh, right. So, you guys are planning on leaving in the morning? Uh, yeah, that that was our plan. Um. We Perfect. Were going to start heading to the to the south uh, the southwest to to see what we could find. Right, so we can accompany you, and I'm sure we can negotiate pay later. That doesn't need to be, you know, discussed right up front, but... Uh, can, can, give me a diplomacy check, you monster. Oh, yes, of you course. Monster. <laughs> yes, of course. That'll be a 27 for you. This, this roll is very nice today. I know. Uh, yeah, you know, you know, just... I'm... I am swayed by your words, and the fact that you have a a a an archite uh, can can last you with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. Very, I I think we could we could come to some, um, some some some, some certainly some some good some very good um yeah yeah yeah, yeah. very very good uh, payment yeah. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Well, it is such a stroke of luck that you guys ran into us. Uh, right. Yeah. Your grunts make me so happy. Anyway, uh, we'll get back to the rest of our entourage and um, see you guys in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she like raises up her her little like mug that she was drinking from. Ah, cheers! I raise my own flask. Uh, oh. The other two just shake their head and go back to eating. All right. I also well, thank like you so much. <laughs> Walking away. returns back to the table now 
that's what happened with the butter churner, if you could believe it. Isn't that, isn't, wasn't that a yarn, Danny? They're pushing the shoulder so that uh, they can focus on the other two returning. Ow. Ow. I, okay, sorry. I can't believe your family won that blue ribbon with so few casualties. I know. Never forget, <laughs> like, bats his heart. <laughs> <laughs> How'd it go? It went pretty well. We, we have a mission uh, now. Yes, indeed, we do. There are some ruins to the south, ones that are connected to uh, Rahua's people, and it seems like a certain corporation out of Outset has their eyes on the place. I imagine, if nothing else, it's a lead. Interesting that you aligned us with the corporation from Outset, but... I mean, we can rob them blind. Well, we can kill them if they end up disturbing these ruins. My point is primarily that we're trying to stay low. That is correct, but if they have been out here for some time on an expedition, it is likely that they have not yet received word of our escapades. And they very so well could we die are, in the ruins. Of course, we're operating under the veil of anonymity. And like Volley See. said, if they end up turning coat or doing any unsavory things that I would rather them not to primordial artifacts, we can take care of What sort of primordial artifacts? are they dealing with? Prior to the established outset that we know, the city at large was besieged for a number of years by forces from the primeval. Fundamental forces such as perfection, anarchy. These remnants of these conflicts long gone as relayed siege towers, bastions, artifacts, and many other curios have remained in the muck and mire of the solitude for, well, what dare I say, generations. A bevy of mystery and potentiality just waiting out there for us to discover. And if it gives me any idea more to why they came into being here and why they kept besieging the city, dare I say, why I came into being as well, well, I think it would be worth looking into as it may give us some lead on curing, well, Rahua will put his hands out and kind of shimmy them towards Orin and Vali. Mm. The condition. That would be ideal. As much as I'd love to find the people who might have a better idea first. If nothing else, a lead's a lead, right? Mm. Very well. I believe that it would be to our advantage to take advantage of this ruin expedition. From there, we shall continue our search for these nomadic peoples. If we encounter our dearest friend Pick Turn's caravan, then we shall bring an end to those blazing imbeciles that have raided this area. Well, we still have the night to go, so if there's anything else we want to inspect before we go, now's the time to do it. Mm-hmm. Well, we should probably just get some rest. Uh, seems we've pretty much exhausted all our options around camp. Have we? Unless you want to go talk to your girlfriend again. Hey, you seem more interested in talking to her than I was. Mm, I like talking to people. Look, and she good. seems... interesting. That's a way of putting it. I would have just called her a bitch and called it a day, but that's up to you. Listen, I like bitches. <laughs> Mega mind bitches? <laughs> bitches? <laughs> Are we bitches? Well, you know what I think about. Wait, what, what were we talking about? Don't worry about bitches. It. Anyway. Oh. Oh, sorry, should we not use naughty words around you? How old no, are you? No, please swear and cuss and curse. That's fine. Oh, okay, all right, fuck, shit. Anyway. You people are so antisocial. Unlike You're right, me. Tanny. We should take more of a note out of your book. No. Oh, hey, open sky! Uh, one, of the, one of the tables nearest the door seems to stand up and, like, head out the entrance. Open sky! Another one gets up and falls. Open sky? Open sky? Open. Oh, yeah. 
Orin looks I mean, up. I mean, Are you a nature check? We're inside yeah, a absolutely. building. Ab ab absolutely. Uh, give me nature, nature if you got it. Oh, absolutely. Here you go. Yeah. Orin will also 18. nature. Yeah. 18. Damn. Okay, uh, Orin and Rahua know that open sky uh, is actually an important thing. It means that, like, typically this area is covered in clouds. Like, you, you rarely see the open sky near outset because of the, the sort of punishment of the old powers. In fact, seeing the open sky anywhere on the, the, the jutting peninsula where you are is, is a rarity. Uh, and in fact, the people seem to have noticed it, and as you look out, you uh, as you look towards the door, you can see sort of a a red tinged light coming in. Oh. You may want to see this. Open sky? Volley like oh, lights up. I'm just gonna start running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can see. Um, yeah, and so so all of you come outside to see um, the actual open sky of Tyne. A sort of mix of a black blue uh, created by the reflection of the sun off of the, the large, brilliant white moon that's in orbit, as well as a second sight in the sky, a vast red wound that seems to cut outwards in every direction, like, like a perfect circular hole in space with rippling veins of excess wounds coming off of it as though someone had stabbed a hole into space and um let's uh, let's take a let's take a break there shall we okay yeah okay i have terror All right, everyone i we'll have terror some snacks. Yeah. we'll be right back that's the prophecy Use the bathroom for be sure yeah, to do we'll your right daily back, sulky. everybody. <laughs> yeah, do your daily sulky. <laughs> As our adventurers take a break, we'd like to take a moment and thank our sponsor, you. You sharing the videos, advertising the streams, and supporting us on Patreon makes everything we do here happen. You help us create the show, create a custom tabletop RPG setting for your campaigns, create monsters, items, spells, and more, all for you. If you love what you've seen so far, or if you want to use the monsters and assets used in the show, please visit our website at www.narrativedeclaration.com for our Patreon and more. And we're back. Hello. Hello. How hello. was your snack? Oh, hello. I had banana bread. Oh. I want banana bread. Uh, right now, now I want banana bread. I'm oh, coming to your home. Some. Yes. 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 Hi. Yeah. We see red thing in the sky. What's up? You do see a red thing in the sky. Um, and in fact, uh, Orin and Rahua, neither of you are surprised. Um, this is a natural phenomenon that exists called the Rose Wound. Uh, it is Tyne's second moon. In a strange way because it is only visible from the continent of Perdoma. This strange, almost like red crystal, red, like red tinged blot in the sky um, sits ominously and isn't, isn't visible from anywhere but this continent. And very rarely around outset because the clouds very, very, very seldom part to to allow a vision of it. But in this case, you you do see it. Um, you can give me um, nature check would probably be the best again, uh, just to see what you know specifically about this uh, oh, this immense, strange uh, sigil in the sky. Sure. Nature check. Yeah. Way too. One two for Rahua and an Orin. Orin got me thirty-two. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Okay. Um, Orin is a nature boy. So yeah. Um, this this is yeah as I mentioned the rose wound. Uh, what you, you so Hulky you would uh, know essentially what I just said about it. Um, though it's 
you would also know roughly when it appeared. Uh, about let me let me pull up my my deep lore documents. Um, this appeared roughly about mm, gosh, like eighteen hundred years ago. Um, in like very, very, very far away times during sort of the rise of the empire of the first house just prior to it this thing appeared in the sky and at the time it was it, it appeared as like a small moat of red in the sky and then grew over time it stopped growing at the same time that the the deities that would become the first house uh, like the king the queen and, and such ascended and became deities at that point this this blot stopped growing many times times many times people thought that this was going to be the end of the world but instead like in, in the you know centuries and even thousands of years that have now passed uh people have come to to sort of just see it as oh it's a celestial phenomenon now and many people do um give thanks to the first house for stopping the growth of this this strange anomaly in the sky uh, for those of you who aren't from Perdoma, naturally, uh, this would probably be your first time seeing it. So, like, Vali, this might be your, your first time seeing this, unless you've done, like, a lot of flying over Perdoma um, in other areas. Probably not. Yeah, yeah. So this is a, like, very strange effect. Uh, very common to the people here. Um, but, yeah, it's, like oddly not seen on other continents which makes no physical sense but this is clearly some sort of strange metaphysical um entity thing maybe one day someone will be able to fly into space and find out what's going on with it i Take lean over challenge to... speaker <laughs> <laughs> i saw speaker's character begin to speak to i'm like no. <laughs> starfinder game time yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> No, I, I lean over to Baldric. Is that normal? Can't say I'm terribly familiar with it, but I don't really look up at the sky very often. By the way, don't trust it. I'm in the sky a lot, and I've never seen that. That's oh. the rose wound. The what? The rose wound. My okay, God. so I'm not the only one that's seeing it. I'm not going crazy, right? Uh, no. My dad told me a lot about it when he was traveling through here. First time I'm seeing it, but he said that it was it existed for a while, long while. I mean, for an older than he is, and he's pretty old. So it's what? been up there for quite a while, and yeah, a lot of people seem to sometimes burst a bit or something else about it. They do a whole bunch of things regarding to it. Some people believe a whole bunch of things around it, but yeah, my dad didn't really think much else of it. Huh. Oh, interesting. interesting. Yes, quite so. Uh, also, Oren, uh, one thing you would know. Sorry, sorry, Ruhu, actually, go, go finish up. Oh, it's particularly interesting that this phenomenon is not known outside of Predoma. It is, in fact, only visible from within the confines of the continent. Oh. It's been that way for roughly 1,800 years, give or take a few decades. Huh. And so it's not something that Outset did, is it? Well, we people aren't necessarily sure. My knowledge of it is cursory, but I have enough of understanding to say that what once was a small prick of light, probably no bigger than a star, had continued to grow and bloat to, well, that gape it wound, aptly named in the night sky. It only stopped growing around the time that the members of the first house ascended to godhood. That's right. My, my mom says that's true. Great. And Orin is 100% correct. So some worship it, some fear it, but none are any more knowledgeable on what exactly the phenomena is. Huh. Well... Oh. Once we get an airship, maybe we can explore. Oren, one thing you you would know with your uh, like amazing uh, near near well basically crit success um, is that 
oftentimes um, it's v like being visible when the rose wound is visible in outsets area in specific a lot of people take that as a um as an omen that when people see it that it represents the start of like a very arduous journey and like basically it has it has connotations with with destiny um but a particularly like difficult destiny when one sees it one relays that to the group and i've been interesting by going like yeah my dad was with a group of people going through here trying to take on one of those journeys he didn't he didn't really want to talk about it any time that i try to inquire but apparently sometimes it's a great a great mystery and great destiny to a lot of people but he didn't really like talking about that adventure oh well i guess i'll just chalk that up to another one of our eight billion bad omens that follow us around eh after no, a point you just kind of start to ignore them Bad omen. The sun in the sky is red, and in our hearts is the sun of revolution. So, I'm let me take it that go. way. Oh, you, 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 depart. Go back inside. Fucking find a nun listen to another revolutionary story right <laughs> Like Baldrick, I hate yeah, I've seen way. this enough. It's it's pretty common back home over uh, near Branch. Baldrick, I'm gonna join you. Great. Uh, well, all right. Strange that it's so normal. Yes, seeing is often believing. If it hmm. is to be a hard journey, then... Well, I give you my word as I always do, to Just plow on through it, as they would say, and... Assuredly, we'll, we'll make it through. After all, it is just superstition, is it not? I'm gonna choose to believe that. If for no other reason than to keep my sanity right now. <laughs> at, at the exact moment you say that, someone appears behind you, Vali. <laughs> Oomst! Erndil. Ah. Hi! We all looking at the rose wound? Ah, yeah, we are. You come out here to see the sky, too? It's nice to see once in a while, once the sky clears out, but it's the same old damn bloody wound as it's always been. Hmm. What are we talking about out here? Bad omens. Such as? The giant bleeding wound in the sky. Apparently it's a bad <laughs> omen to some people. Oh, don't tell me you're one of those people that believes that the wound means that you're going to embark on a great and fantastic journey that will take many months to complete and you will face many hardships on the blah, 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 blah. You know, with the way our lives are going, you kind of just have to believe it all. She kind of casts a side along glance at Tannhauser. Do you believe any of that crap? I believe there is no destiny, save for that which you forge with your own hands. Uh, she will clap a hand on his shoulder and clap real hard going, Atta up, boy. Fuck destiny. Forge your own path. Carve a hole in it. See what happens. Well, I appreciate the endorsement. Was there something else you needed? I kind of guessed that you guys were going to be leaving town here soon. Am I correct on that assumption? We are. Hmm. Mind if I ask where you're going? Um, yes. She leans over, putting, getting uncomfortably close to Vali. I lean yes. closer. Yes. Yeah, we mind a little bit, but, you know. Why? Don't I'm sure it's not going to be any uh, consequence to you. Don't want to split shares? Must be something nice if you're keeping it to yourselves. Why are you going to fight me for it? No. But I figured if you were, you know, in the need of some muscle, I could come along. Maybe. If that piques your interest. A lot of muscles between the lot of us. So... Hmm. 
Wait, why are you out here anyway? Don't you have somewhere to be? No. What makes you think that? I didn't think that anyone would come to these swamps because they wanted to be here. Are you kidding me? Excuse me, as much as I would hate to interrupt this lovely banter, I can't help but notice that something seems to have caught a blaze. And I'm going to point out to the distance to a small fire that I noticed from the camp alongside the smell of smoke. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, huh? it looks it looks to be like a set of maybe three desiccated trees that have begun to burn. There's there's nothing around them, so nothing to catch to, but they're they're like they're going up in flames. Well, shit. If you want to flex your muscles now, now's the time to do it. <laughs> and I, uh, I, I ruffle on top of her head where her hair would be, as we are still standing very uncomfortably close. And I'm gonna go check out the fire. Uh, hey Thurston. Yeah? I suppose in this situation, uh, she would go with them, if you're cool with that. Yeah, sure. I mean, I I totally wasn't expecting to have four random fucking NPCs join the party at this point. But but hey, 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 I don't let you do anything. Yeah, yeah. Vi Victrix has <laughs> temporarily joined the party. Da, 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 da. Uh, don't don't make that a celebration. <laughs> yeah, so Baldrick Baldrick's inside. He's missing out on whatever the fuck's happening out here at this point. And now now it's Victrix. Victrix is here. Okay. Ignore the fact that Baldrick is still speaking. It's fine. That's fair. It's fair. He's chilling. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's it's all good. It's all good. Um, I'm an advanced oh. GM NPC. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, what have I let them do? Um, all right, so... Victrix, Tannhauser, Volley... Um, like, you're sort of, like, Tannhauser's directed you to this fire. Oren and Rahua, what are, what are you doing as, like, Tannhauser points this out as well? Go ahead, Hoki. Oh, I see. Most likely, we should probably investigate this. Orin, do you I uh, feel like we should probably help out whatever is about to go down, right? Yeah. I, he'll just get real close to me. How are you, uh, how, how are you holding up? Well, I have no idea where my friend is. Probably out, probably out somewhere in the world dead. I've died. People I'm not friends with are all now stuck in a swamp. Everything sucks. Yeah, it's... It's not exactly an ideal situation, but such is the... flowing winds of change. Sometimes they're good, sometimes things get bad, and... we just have to go along with it. But I'm sure that we'll... we'll find your friend was... Gorgamunga? Gorgamunga, yeah. I'm sure we will find him in time. I'm, I give you my word, we'll at least look for him. Can't say if we'll find him. And although I meant to say this to you for some time, but well, things kind of happened since. With what happened at uh, well, your own expiry and resurrection, death is a, f a funny thing. Think of it as a, a question. A question asked to all of eternity. It is not something to be feared in, its, in itself. Be afraid of what the answer may be. Think who uh, will pat him on the back and <laughs> just, like, get up and motion <laughs> him to go. Like, you will kind of breath as, as, as he's going. He's like, well, who are the issues? I've already found the answer, and... Already conflicted with what we always believed in, really, that we would just return to the earth to try to provide for the forest, the things that are around us, that it's fair. As nature takes its course for for all of us, and now that I kind of seen what the glimpse of that was, it's kinda of hard to keep going at this point. But I believe in all of us, and I still want to help Gorgamonger, so I'm gonna to have to deal with that when I get to it. We all will return to this world in time, whether to the firmament of creation or to the forest floor. What you saw, I, I cannot possibly fathom, as I have not gone through it myself. But I do know that what you saw was perverted by rot. And we will 
root out this infestation in time. So that we might ease that. You might find that answer in the end. Different than what you'd seen before. But enough, enough on that. Let's not tarry any further. I, we I have think some people as, to kill. I think as you say that, Rahua, um, like the scene is is you and Orin standing beside each other, and then in the distance, there's like, like Tanhauser, Victrix, and Volley silhouetted by these trees, like trying to get them to stop burning. <laughs> Jeez, who is this? Victrix is just stomping on a fire that's on the ground, beating it. <laughs> How is Tan? Putting out the fire, like they're 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 a good like couple hundred feet away. How is Tannhauser putting out this fire? I'm more used to setting fires, not taking them out. Uh, I think that Tannhauser is probably using hydraulic push as like an ad hoc fire hose. <laughs> uh, yes, from his hands, just power wash it. I cast firemen. Okay, okay. So so to to set the scene, like Rahu and Oren are like several hundred feet away, watching the silhouette of their, like, three, well, two companions and one GM uh, NPC, um, like, attempting to put out this fire, and, like, Rahua, you, 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 you know, give this, like, you know, this, this loving, d dismal speech to Oren, um, and then the camera tilts just slightly over to a third figure standing right beside you, um, who, like, adds on just as you say, we have to go kill people, well, I don't think you need to do that right now, friends. Why don't we have ourselves a little talk? Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. As Rahua, you turn and Oren, you turn to see the the top hat form of the Children of the Blaze leader, Mr. Alert, standing there beside oh, you. Oh, shit. Even, that's even worse. Heading there, I do realize. You don't look at anything like that. Oh, I don't. I don't believe I've I've met you, my, my friend, but I've I've met your associate briefly. Nods Orn to Oren. Oren yeah, Orn, Orn nods back. And listen. Oh yeah, I forgot. He, the, the Rahua doesn't know what Jack Ra did about. that was during the Rahua special. Yeah. <laughs> Cooks are Rahua. Ra Rahua list moment. Well, I I don't know you or know of you, so hi, I am. Rahua, you seem to know my friend here. Oh, my, my name is, is Mr. Elort. It's a pleasure to meet your acquaintance. I uh, set you friends about that little fire over there. I just wanted to chat, uh, particularly with your friend, but I wanted to meet you. You seem like a interesting individual. So I am told you by your bedecked regalia also seem similarly interesting. <laughs> well, thank you. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm just a, a simple man with, with simple pleasures and simple desires. And Well, in this particular instance, I, I felt that I owed your friend here. He was very polite to me last time. I believe you were looking for a uh, draconic creature in these swamps yeah yeah i was Orin gets more excited <laughs> excitable boy oh well i was thinking perhaps i could help you with that i could uh if you'd like point you in the direction of that there draconic figure in this region Orin will look at him and go like you appreciate that but my father told me that everything's for free. Is there a cost to this? I would simply respectfully request that you stay out of my business in this swamp. Well, I'd have to know where your business is, mister. Or I can at least know what to avoid. Well, you have met my my my, my associates, my fellow children of the blaze. Uh, we are performing some some cleanup in this here region, and perhaps if you could let us continue our cleanup uh, without having to deal with any uh, 
interruptions from your band of friends looks over at this point i assume the tree has somehow caught more on fire yeah <laughs> like yes. everyone's like ah victor's just background. strangling the tree hold yes. on i've got water as i'm like pouring alcohol on it <laughs> yeah, you are so <laughs> now i will gladly inform you of the location of your draconic uh enterprise <laughs> Should you simply just just think about not interrupting my my affairs here in this uh, this swampy land? Orin looks down and then looks over at Rahua, and he looks back at Mister Lord. Go. Very hard for me to guarantee that, considering that there's multiple minds of this, but. You tell me where to avoid, then I'll do my best, but I can't guarantee we can 100% avoid any conflicts, especially if those of the Children of the Blaze didn't come after us. Because it's not our fault, I assume we won't have a break of agreement, right? That sounds perfectly perfectly agreeable to me if you uh give me a moment i can update your map with a uh, maybe a location or two of interest <laughs> i'm sorry about very sky i remember like, he's like yeah. but you must go to the cave adventure a market on your map map you had, accepted, you had accepted a quest unbeknownst to your friends i hope you're ready to engage in combat we are now playing divinity original sin 2. another hand touches the map <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> By the way, I forgot to mention, but the Fighters Guild needs some new recruits. I do get the vapors. Uh, will you head in the map? By the gods, stay off the road. Um, <laughs> Orin will look at Rahua and like trying to get his like confirmation if this is okay or not, just by looking. Rahua will will shrug because he has no investment. He doesn't know this person. Okay. Well, a shady motherfucker comes up and be like, oh, yeah. you know. <laughs> like, Rahua like, doesn't dude, know what it means to be he's shady. Check, he's, Rahua... he's, he's asking Tree Dad for permission. Tree Dad, don't say that. <laughs> I don't think he's qualified to be a dad, but Rahua will give a shrug indicative of, I don't know, man. Do what you got to do. Yeah. Orin will hand I, over I, he the He just map. gave his word that he would help you find your friend. Yeah, Orin will hand over the map. Um. All right. As, sure. as he's doing so, may he yeah. roll a perception check to see if he's like leading him into a trap? He's like, "I'll help you find your friend. Go to this area. Will there will be traps and evil to kill you?" You know, that's what he's looking for to see if there's any like ill, like ill uh, intent. There, there is like a very, very quick like, like. I guess like scribbling with a quill um, that Gonna that Mister Lort had ready, uh, and he's like the entire time he doesn't even look at the paper; he just meets your eyes, Oren. Can we still roll a perception check? This yeah, you, absolutely. Is okay. Yeah. I got a four on the die, so seventeen to. <laughs> Yeah, he has this kind of, like, wide smile. The fact that he's doing this just completely unnerves you, that he's, like, has this. He hands you, again, never breaking eye contact, just as the just as the flames are starting to die down on the distant tree, hands you back the, uh, the map and says, Well, it's been a pleasure. Uh, looks like I'm about to... And at that exact moment, uh, Tannhauser finishes with his hydraulic uh, pushing um, to put out the tree. And as the last of the of the flames die, Mr. Alert explodes into a cloud of ash that just kind of stains the air for a moment before dissipating. Orin will look down at the map then kind of show it to Rahura where he marked down. Yeah, sure. It has been updated. Oren sees the conflict. Ah. <laughs> like, Oren looks down at Rahua. Or, or looks down, down. He looks up at Rahua and goes like, Oh. 
and he will kind of wrap up the map a little bit, store it, and goes like, I'm gonna go sit down at the fire, Mr. Ruhua. I'll... I have some thinking to do. Yes, quite. We'll get and things Orin, done. Orin will go to the fire and he will kind of sit there in contemplation for a moment. And just for uh, people in, uh, for audio, basically we went through the hex map. We have a thing to, where we have a suspicion where the twang folk is there, uh, but there is a marking by that says, don't go here by Mr. L Mr. Lort there. And, but there's also a location to where my dragon friend will be. And uh, so Oren has to make a decision. And as he does so, I'll be right back. So keep going without me. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um... And at this point, like, I, I assume, like, Tannhauser, Vic, and Vali return triumphant from putting out the fire as, like, Rahua stands sentinel after Orin has gone back inside to the fire. <laughs> Not to worry, everyone. It wasn't some kind of fire monster. It was just a normal fire. I killed the shit out of that fire. You sure did, queen. <laughs> so who the hell setting fires out here and not telling us? Everything all right, Rahua? Where'd Bird Boy go? Rahua was just staring up at the the rose wound in the sky, almost pensive, a little fearful, but turns his attention back to the party. Oh, Orin, Orin went inside. Uh, we had a bit of a heart to heart, had a, a visitor as well, probably the one who started that fire after all. But oh. the good news is we got a lead on one of his friends. Oh, Gorgamonger, the dragon, yeah? Yes. Yes. The, the what? Our friend has a friend who is lost somewhere in these parts, we believe. Or evidently may actually be out here. Who Horan has been looking for for some time. However, this has come at a cost of some degree. And now we are faced with a number of different options. It's not necessarily my place to decide for him or to speak on it, so I will let Orin tell you the details, if you would. <laughs> uh, I am back, so I'm here. Well, fair enough. Something happened? Is it bad? Uh, Tenhauser and Volley, give me a perception check. Oh, yes. Please, if that's okay. You're not, you're not in the conversation, or don't worry. You, you, Orin went back inside. Yeah, Orin, Orin was okay, inside, okay. so. That is a natural one for Volley. Uh, I, I am blinded briefly. Excellent. Victor stabs <laughs> you in your kidney. I got ah! a 17. Uh, okay, so... Um... <laughs> Okay, one sec, one sec, one sec. Uh, I will figure out a complication for our dear Volley in a sec, assuming oh, no. that, that Google uh, will allow me to reaccess the complication sheet. Anyways, um, <laughs> Tannhauser, as like as Volley is about to suffer some fate worse than death, um, Tannhauser, um, you smell the like faintest, faintest scent of ash on the air, um, like even this far out it seems to have like a different like smell uh through your you know breathing apparatus yes, i smell ash was this uh similar at all to the children of the blaze this is like very similar to the smoky simulacrum you saw in the cackling jackass remember that everybody remember who toot uh good we times. all remember uh, fantastic we who Beauten. What did you say was here earlier? Rahua. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Rahua moment. I believe it was somebody who you were familiar with. Uh, dressed in very ostentatious clothes. Uh, fire motifs. I believe it was... Uh, and Mr. Elort was the name? Ah, the leader of the Children of the Blaze. But what would he want with you, Lot? If it makes any sense to you, he had described it as doing some sort of 
cleaning in these parts. At least as he put it, some liquidation of some kind of asset, I would imagine. And freighted us information on Orin's friend Gorgamunger, who should be somewhere to the southwest, on the condition that we did not, quote, interfere with his operations. And actually, did Rahua happen to see the updated map once it was given Orin? Yeah, yeah. Or, or, yeah, Orin showed it to you, and yeah. then kind of so it was like, oh no, you know, this would be. Hey, Thurston, crazy question. Would Victrix be at all aware of what the hell the Children of the Blaze are, or is this, like, just complete and total nothing to her? This is complete and total nothing. They Like, they, their presence here is very new to the region, so... Weird. Uh, oh, you know what? I know exactly what one. Thank you, uh, Yuna, Callista. Uh, so your failure on that check, um... <laughs> Oda Roshi. Right. Yeah, I guess me. I'm going to use this one uh, from Yuna Callista uh, called Rotten. An NPC in the scene, including a GM NPC, notices that a character has the rot. Specifically, oh. Victrix now takes note of Volley's particularly rotten state. Yeah, she uh, she's kind of side-eyeing Volley, who's presumably like trying to th notice something in the air and you know, it's a little obvious with the little like streaks of black gunk coming out of her eyes and her eyes looking like garbage and basically being very sickly looking hey the deal uh, what the hell's the deal with you me i'm yeah. a pirate and in case you haven't noticed yeah you look like you're you know you're about to like have your eyes fall out and turn into little black marbles on the ground damn Pardon? I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. You uh, deception. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, do it. Uh, <laughs> use your social skills against other players. Very good. <laughs> ah, that's still a 19. Uh, Thurston? Just roll want? me a d20. I'll figure it out. Sure. Now I've got a... That's all right. It. it was just a six. I rolled, I rolled for the party. Yeah, you rolled for the party. No, no, no. Um, it's it's very sus, but like, okay, you guess maybe. Uh, if you're sick, better not give it to me. No, I promise I won't. Yeah, you better promise that. I cough in her direction. Uh, you get punched in the ribs quite hard. Uh, oh, you're funny. I like you. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yuck it up, sicko. Well, right. as charming as you laying hands on our companion is, I believe we have a more pressing matter to tend to. Yeah. You're what saying about that the Lord was here? Ugh. The master of the Children of the Blaze is here making deals. Well, we can't exactly trust him. If we can in any way impede him, yes. Well, he did say not to get in his way if he was to give us information about that dragon of Orans. Mm. The only question is, where is in his way? That would be the settlement where presumably the Twang folk reside. Oh. So we are forced into a rather compromising position. Hmm. Well, if we find something at the ruins that will help with present affairs, then maybe we don't need to see the Twang folk. And we I'd vote get... for splitting the party. <laughs> I was actually thinking of something here just a second. <laughs> As was I. Oh, no. So, you guys are known to this Elort guy, right? Yes. Correct. I'm not. Okay, what do you want? Hey, 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 hey. She holds her hands up, sort of like in a surrender -y pose. All I'm offering is you could pay me for my services, and I'll go out and see what this Elort guy is up to. 
I don't know him from Adam. Frankly, he sounds like a bit of a ponce, so I don't give a good goddamn what he's up to. But if it's important to you, I'm sure I could have my palms greased a little bit, and I could go check it out on your behalf. Hmm. I don't Rang know. Victrix into the garrison mission. <laughs> hey, <Gold. laughs> What's, uh, what's your going rate? Sure, we could discuss the finer points of it, but for something that I don't know the danger level of, and frankly, I can handle myself, I'd say going rates maybe 50 gold. We got plenty of money for that. And of course, if you want me on retainer, I'll bump that up to 100 and I'm yours to work with. You better keep Baldy behind, though. Him and I don't get along. Well, as much as he complains, he is a part of the entourage, whether he wants to be or not. <laughs> yeah, he does bitch a lot, doesn't he? It's one of his charm points. We'll talk it out amongst ourselves and get back to you in the morning. How's that sound? Sure, sure. I'm not going anywhere. If you'll excuse me, I got booze to tend to. I'll leave you for, uh, uh, three. Sorry. <laughs> Eyes a little screwed up sometimes. I'll leave you three to it. See ya. And she will exit the scene. Okay. At this point, I'm going to assume that the, the, the rest of you head back inside and that we have a, a grand reconvening of the party as, as like, Oren sits at the table pondering. Uh, Baldrick has just probably enjoyed the, the quiet or has, like, at least blank, blacked out everything that Picturn has been talking about this week. He's kind of leaning back in his chair with his hands behind his head. Again, because you can't see his eyes, Picturn has no way of knowing that he's closed his eyes at this point and just treats him like a white noise fan. Now that's what I say. Uh, that summer, that summer festival, it was a, it was a humdinger of one, you know. Oh. I don't. Oh, hi there, friends! As the rest of you return back in, I was just talking about the summer festival at Netter's Branch. Oh, the bad one, of course. I mean, oh. Was there? A well, good I can one? start over. You want to pull up a seat, and mm, I'll get no. going. You guys are back. Good. Well. Yeah, take a seat. What have you been up to? Resting. Yeah, I mean, mean, listening to his story. Stories. Whatever he was doing. Victor smiles widely. All right. So, let's get our ducks in a row and figure out what our game plan is. Yeah, why don't we do that? Oren kind of came in and wandered over by the fire and then sat down. Like, over there. Points towards the hearth and... I guess Orin's there, is he's Orin? I'm not going to yeah, speak on your behalf. No, no, it's okay. It works out. He's literally just sitting there. He has the map kind of in his hand, and he's just been... Like, he does have it open. He's just kind of like... You know, like you're just like holding a book. You're just kind of like half thousand yard stare past... Staring past something. And so that's what he's been doing. He's just been sitting there just... Pondering right by the fire. You all right, bud? He kind of looks back and like is everybody back yeah okay and then he'll get up you know so do we have like a center table or just like somewhere in the center where he can like present the map yeah okay or we'll kind of call everyone like hey everybody uh i think we might have a problem and orin will come over to the table, spry out the map that everyone else sees, and he will go as you guys are putting out the fire, which was a distraction by Mr. Mr. York there, he um, came up and offered me something. He said that if we if we left the children of the blaze alone while they were doing their work, and he would tell me where my dragon friend is. And my whole being of mm -hmm. being here is to find Gorgamonger. Told me that he's right here, and then he'll point on the map where he is. Like, I'm just trying to give it any hint that I could of my friend. I, I accepted, but it seems that his target are the exact people that 
we need to go talk to to try to help cure us. Right. Uh, and I'm having a decision of what to choose. Uh, that's definitely a dilemma. If the Children of the Blaze are after the Twang folk, then that's a problem. We don't want to show up and see the entire village has been burnt down. Our entire point of coming out here was to talk to the Twang folk. Much as I don't wish to step on your feet here, Oren, that is kind of the point we're here for. I, mm. I know. I know, Mr. Baldrick. Ah, uh, damn it. I we should have killed that bastard. I mean, I did technically say that, that I would try to not get in his way and I couldn't guarantee anybody else. And he agreed to that. I'm not sure so. he's going to quibble over semantics like that. I think he is very much the kind who will quibble over semantics like that, and if we betray his trust, we're probably going to lose both. Or at the very least, one is going to be a lot harder to deal with. Hold on a moment. I have an intriguing question. Shoot. Does this trade post have any sort of armed militia? You mean mercenaries? Well, yes, but presumably being a trade post out here on the outskirts of civilization, they will have been well defended against the risks of bandits. If they didn't have any sort of self-defense force, they wouldn't be able to protect their coffers, even hidden among the swamp. Post usually employs a lot of mercs to do their dirty work and just trade them out every so often. Well then, if they have a plethora of mercs, and you have that uniquely deplorable friend of yours, Baldric. Well, we can inform Zapple Zap that there is a high possibility that customers of his are being genocided by a street gang. Zapple Zap will be wise. He will likely move to protect his investment. And whilst he impedes the Children of the Blaze, we can obtain the dragon. And then, assuming he's in good health, ride it, or merely cross swiftly to where we believe the Twang folk are. Tend to them, and see to it that justice is rendered. As as ten hours is talking, Orin would like the cast to detect magic. Okay. The the point of it is to see if there's anything like if he'd left anything magical around to listen in. Like yeah, you get you get magical auras, but you would know that they're um they're auras that are related to your allies. However, you do detect other magical auras, but they're likely just the equipment of other people in here. Like the lantern from the lady at the other table. And some of Zabble Zap's like items and such in the back. But you you don't like yeah. Immediately, you're not detecting, like, any scrying sensors or shit. Okay. Oren, uh, Oren looks at Tannhauser and goes, I could do that, but what if they don't agree? Do we... If that won't do it, then could we try to hire that, that one person to do and maybe hire some other people to go and try to make sure the Twang folk don't get slaughtered? We shall be hiring those individuals regardless, but Zappo Zap will see reason. Although the Twang folk are an infrequent trade partner, they are a significant and indigenous force in the region. Losing the Twang folk's business would possibly mean great consternation for this trade post. It is in his best interest to come to the aid of these grateful nomads. On that note, we do have a lot on our plates at the moment, especially this whole ruins trick that we're going to be making, supposedly. Mm. And wait, hang on a second. Baldrick seems to get a, a note of idea, which perks his voice up very slightly, frightening everyone who knows him. Hang on. Those guys in the, the employ of that, uh, that company from Outset. Mm -hmm. If we get on their good side, we managed to convince them that there could be something of interest out there that would be worth securing. 
we could send them on the way too, or to take care of something else. Exactly. That's not a bad idea, actually. How much time do we have, though? Oh, well, that's the problem. We kind of just figured this all out today, and to assume a time scale is kind of absurd. We kind of just have to deal with it as we go. I also find it likely that there is no dragon at the place marked dragon. That's be... also a possibility. But, but we have to at least check. Yes, we do. Orin, we shall. Or at the very least, we shall discover. The question is, <clears throat> what to do? I well, believe if if, uh, if the one group that's going to the ruins doesn't want to come along as a backup, we can ask the one wrapped up person to give them some extra money to hire a group of people to go out and maybe try to deal with the people of the blaze in our stead while we go look for Gorgamonger. Yeah, Vic could probably hire a posse, too, if you don't... And I worry about us getting all wrapped up in a bunch of people going to a place and maybe revealing our hand. It is the strength of the people that has waned in this world, and it is through their hands we can see justice done to the evildoers. I believe that if we speak to the ruined dwellers and we offer this task in lieu of our payment, they will greedily pursue it. Meanwhile, Zapplezap will be convinced for the economics are in his favor. All that remains is to pay your mercenary friend. They shall head out towards the Twang Folk, and if nothing else, delay the Children of the Blaze. Meanwhile, we shall rush to the dragon. Then we shall rush to the twang folk. And when we reconvene, we shall see the fate that has befallen them. Works for me. Afterwards. I suggest I could sneak my way out there, too. Whatever works. Exactly. Afterwards, we can make our ways to the ruins. I believe that would be foolish to ignore. But clearly, time is not on our side. I mean, it isn't. Side. The question is... If something at the ruins has something to do with Rahua's people, how do we know it's not going to be completely cleared out by the time those corpos are done with it? Because Baldrick's just going to... Baldrick is going to hold up his hands at this point. We're making a lot of suppositions about time and distance that we're not really fully prepared to back up. Why don't we make... That's true. Why don't we make an expedition and see how much we're going to be spending here? Let's arrange this with Zapple Zap. He will be one of the first obstacles and as well as a funnel of practical knowledge on the area. Good starting point, I suppose. All so right. Thinking Better than nothing. A couple days at least to get through certain parts of the swamp. Well, anything that can be done in days can be shortened. We merely need to find the way. Uh, I'm going to lead everyone over towards Zapple Zap's tent. Again! <laughs> We're bothering this man so much tonight. Good. Uh, hello, you know, welcome. Like a mosquito. It's getting <laughs> awful late. Uh, I was, uh, stretching time to hit the old nest, eh? Zapple Zap! Hi, yes. I have unfortunate news that requires immediate action. Okay. Are you familiar with the Children of the Blaze? Mm. No? Precisely. They are outlanders, <laughs> a street gang from outset. They are murderous pyromaniacs, the small bit of arson that your camp just experienced that was at their hands. And I'm afraid I have darker news still. Have you noticed that the Twang Folk deliveries are slightly off time? Um. No. But they bring in a substantial amount of coin to this little trade stall, yes? No, they come once a year for little bits and bobs, that's it. The, the, the city sends out supplies to them. Had caravan come through a few weeks back. 
The city does. Yes, the city sends them supplies, comes from outset, goes out to meet Twang folk. So, so wait, the indigenous folk out here, or at the very least, the smaller communities out here. Yes. Do not have any strong connection with the trading outposts and are almost irrelevant to its success. Uh, uh like, like the, the, the Twang folk specifically. Yes. I, I was under the, I was under the impression that they were the only... No, there there are like like several groups like corpos, and then there is like a settlement to the south, and there there oh, are like a variety of sake. The, other the things. Folk are like Ashlanders. <laughs> I mean, they they are essentially like a group of druids is the best way to to look at. Ah, uh... right? they little they live in BFE and don't interact. They're they're just they're Ashlanders, but in the swamp. Yeah, yeah, like they 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 have like like once a year like like. Zabble Zap had said, like, they deal with them once a year, but the city has, like, agreements to send them supplies. Like, the city is like, oh, we know you do important druid shit, we think, so we'll send you supplies so we don't piss off the gods that literally, like, wrecked this entire region. Then it's probably in our best interest to go with the ruins people, because they're from the city. That's... We got a lot of options, so I think we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get over we I like giving choices to you. <laughs> we can at least see if we can convince Apple Zap. Yeah, let's keep going here for now. But I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking this one has now been catapulted further away from us. Unfortunately, um... I explained this all originally. I swear. <laughs> I mean, you did, but I, I also didn't want to interrupt Speaker's train of thought because I thought we could pursue it. <laughs> Thought, yeah, I knew that they only visited once a year, but I assumed it was like, a, oh, the Twang folk are here, guys. Get all the shit out. Start hawking up the prices. <laughs> it's like, no, we come here and we bought a snow globe. Goodbye. Yeah. Like, like when you said they come once a year, I thought it was like a huge trade event. That would be like a like like a like almost like a festival. Or oh, no, no, no. It's like, oh, they come by like once a year for some stuff. That's yeah. about it. <laughs> I, I, I didn't realize they came by once a year to buy lollipops and gumdrops. Look, they can't make it <laughs> naturally. Admittedly, okay. we, didn't, we didn't really ask that. We no, did a lot I, of we didn't. Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, yeah, uh, regardless. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> you will have me interested in knowing that this criminal group likely has interest in moseying in on your territory. They are engaging in operations to harass the outlying indigenous tribes and settlements, starting with the West. The leader personally informed us of this and then threatened us not to aid them around. Uh. As you as you understand, wildfires are often not conducive to healthy trade, yes? No oh, fire bad. We have an area where we believe they shall be attacking. I would request quite strongly that you rally your mercenary forces. You'll be propagating a command force to tend to the children of the blaze. You need only supply manpower. Do this, and your problem will go away oh. at the mere cost of a day's work for keep, mercenaries. Keep mercenaries here, though. Only have, like, mm, ten guys. Well, ten guys are better than none. Rally but, them and put them under my command. What? Yes. Uh, Baldrick is going to kind of interject at this point. Uh, Tannhauser, I think we have a problem with that volume of people. If we what? take them away from here, that leaves the place understaffed for defensive purposes. Mm -hmm. Perhaps so. Can you spare five men? Where where are they going? What are they doing? How, how much will I be paid for their services? You will be paid in loss prevention. You are oh, you are essential. That doesn't sound like gold. Is that some foreign currency? Are you aware of the idea of arson insurance? It's a set amount that you pay, so that if your assets are raised, you will not lose your livelihood. Congratulations, Zapple Zap. I am your insurance salesman. 
Give me an intimidate check. <laughs> Zabble Zap is totally thinking now that you're threatening to burn down his establishment. Oh my god! <laughs> that, is a, that, that, is a, that is a loss of critical thinking on his end, but his failure is my game. Well, we'll see about that. At this point, you've come up and just, like, given him the fucking most random oh. story. And it's like, oh. ah. You do well, have yeah. a hero point. I you do. do I, I will re-roll it. And I didn't give him a random story. I told him, there are guys recklessly setting fire to their foes. It could impact your trade routes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Should... And he is he is totally interpreted as, like, oh, shit, these guys are randomly setting fire to shit. And if I don't give them my guys, they're going to set fire to my shit. That <laughs> sounds like a personal problem. That's a 26. I, I, I suppose I could give you some, some, some guys, maybe. Thank you. Do this, and I promise the children of the blaze will pay. Oh, yes, they will. And your mm. trade routes shall be more secure had you not given us these forces. I thank you. Mm, all, all right, I'll see what I can put together. Mm. Excellent. Now, let us make for the ruined delvers. They shall be the ones we must sweet talk. Uh, can we do that in the morning? Likely in the morning. They're probably going to be in bed and won't take to sweet talk when they're tired. Excellent. Very good. In the interim, Baldric, make sure that the coin gets to your former a better. We will need her services in leading the spear tip into the blaze's heart. Fantastic. All right. I'll take from the coffers then. All right. So with that, uh, you all you all go to rest. Um, bedtime. Bedtime. Um, healing your wounds. Uh, you know, rest and relaxation, regaining all your spells. The morning comes along. Uh, when the morning comes, at this point, uh, the the settlement, uh, the, like the the clouds have returned in the sky, um, and you can see that the the group from BMF has prepared and like seems seems ready to go. Uh, in the morning, Zabble Zap has assembled a a host of five individuals that seem armed with clubs and crossbows. They are a, they are a, a haggard gaggle uh, of individuals who have joined, uh, who, who've joined together and sort of like stand, stand out front um, kind of confusedly. Um, and yeah, 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 that, that's, uh, that seems to be the, the setup that we have. Oh, and, and you're all awoken to the distant sound of Picturn playing on the pipes. Yeah, that was that, that was that car of rooming you just heard in my Yeah, world. that's, that's yeah. pipe <laughs> sounds. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, so you all emerge to see the two forces assembled, both your, um, I don't even want to say hired friends, but like your insurance team and then the BMF crew of Rune Delvers or Rune Explorers. What are y'all doing? That's uh, a good question. I don't know. Isn't check the okay. Kit? Okay, so we've got uh, Victrix and the dudes are going to check out where the Children of Blaze said that they're going, right? Just to kind of see what's going on. We're going with the rune, uh, the ruin people to go and check out the ruins, and then we're moving to Gorgamunger while we wait on word from Victrix and the dudes. No, that's not the plan. Okay. It's slightly similar. The plan, and again, guys, this is a good effort, so please tell me about that. Okay. We're, we're, we're coordinating. Um, this is the point. Yeah. We're not asserting anything. I'm thinking we go to the ruin dwellers, Delvers, before they go, and we say, hey, look, there's a situation evolving. You know, the trade routes are being imperiled. This trade station could be imperiled. And there is a dangerous street gang that threatens perhaps even to burn the swamp down. Um, Zapple Zap, his infinite wisdom, is a, a, uh, a force. We are going to be attacking from one angle. We would actually be interested in waiving our fee for helping you explore the ruins if you aid us in taking out the Children of the Blaze. You are the most heavily armored and clearly competent adventure force around. You would be an excellent force. And then It'd be a hard sell, because it is way in the opposite direction of where they're going. 
Uh, it is. We could also offer to pay them, or we could, uh, you know, not only are we offering to pay them in literally five swarthy bands of adventurers helping them plumb an incredibly dangerous ruin, um, but also uh, we could pay them potentially monetarily, or even sweet talk them into thinking, well, these are the children of the blaze. They're a powerful force and outset. You would be legends. Hmm. I don't know if it's worth trying to just get two extra bodies uh, on the Children of the Blaze excursion. Because we, we don't really know exactly what they're up to. We think it's bad. Yeah, uh, again, but- I think the... I think the key thing was just having, like, Victrix go alone just to, like, spy and see what yeah, the hell scout the it out. is. We could have literally anyone do that by themselves. We don't have to go, like, attack, like, expecting there's going to be a giant brawl there. For all we know, he could simply be trying to convert them to Blaze ideology. Well, he was saying he was explicitly liquidating people, which is... Did he say that? Yes. Yeah. Thurston? What? Did... Did, uh... Elort say that he was liquidating people? He said that he had things he was doing there. He didn't specify, like, murdering people. Now, you know that there have been caravans attacked by people using fire weapons. Mm. But, like, Mr. Elort never said anything about, like, killing people. He just said, stay out of my business. Exactly. Yeah. I guess um, my thought was is that he was, like, going... I, I thought I heard something about liquidating assets. Maybe I'm wrong. You're, you're right. I said that. But I didn't say liquidating people necessarily. Yeah. Um, oh, no. Hokey yeah. gaslit us. It, Kill it's, him. it's the telephone <laughs> no. game. I, it's the I, telephone game. I, I, I gaslit you. You just chose to misremember it. But you know what? It's good that you did because that just gives us more reason to go there and stop them from destroying people. This yeah. is true. And we are going to destroy them, them people, instead. Yeah. Fair enough. Um... I guess part of me worries, like, five NPC mercs and then uh, DMPC, uh, I don't think are going to really make a substantive difference um, in the face of the Children of the Blaze. So, like, they could wreak contour. Um, but I also worry about a situation to where, because we got distracted with Gorgamonger, uh, we come back and then all of the Twang folk are dead. Jesus. Um... Maybe it could pay to get them to investigate Gorgamonger. Ah, uh, we don't want to do. We, we, yeah, we well, don't no, actually, do I just thought about in. that for like more than half a second. Yeah, no, yeah, you're right. Idea. You're right. There's like 600 reasons why that's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to send randos after a dragon. That's a little yeah. little, little time out as as our party thinks. Can I can I just say I love the 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 joke we always have of the GM never lets us do anything, and now you're all fucking paralyzed with options. <laughs> you're like there are like a million ways we can approach this. What do I'm not paralyzed? I'm just trying to make sure we actually know the stakes of what we're getting into. Because also, yep. T- Tannhauser made a promise like this will take more than it, like only a day's work, but I re- distinctly remember you saying it could take three to five days to cross one of these swamp tiles. Uh, yeah. yeah, like like it's three days per hex. Uh, in some I, cases. Yeah. I was not aware uh, of that. If in I could that give case. a suggestion <laughs> uh, that bad too, I just I might have gave me stuff. Uh have it to where uh the couple people that we rounded up from Skeeto guy, like the five guys or whatever, have him send them over to the Twang Folk people or whatever just to scope it out or figure it out or send them out and see what they can find. We talk to the ruined people, try to get them on their side, do whichever witch, but then our party goes to Gorgamonger and check that out because because for Orin, for Orin stuff, he's going to be like I, I don't want to go and mess up this deal. He wants to find his friend, so that's where his thing is, but at the same time he doesn't want to, he's having that debate so it's like Whichever one people want to go on, it's like he he'll he'll figure it out. But that's that's probably what we sh- that's my suggestion so far. Yeah. Until more stuff comes say, up. We do still have. We did kind of say we were gonna go to the ruins and then you know help them out. We kind of. Ruins are yeah. also on the way to Gorgamonger. Like and they're that's, literally that's like yeah. in my path. Yeah. 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 Help them out. Use that to get them on our side. Try to be generous with the, any findings. Like, hey, you came here for this stuff. Here you go. Let's, let's get a little bit. We'll see so, what we uh, can get. Yeah. 
Uh, especially if we're fighting a lord, we want to get, uh, I don't know, maybe there's a cool sword in the ruins that we yeah. can use to stab him to Wait, death. Wait, are you suggesting exploring to get valuable items and experience and loot so you'll be ready for the threats at the far end of the map? Yeah, man, yeah, let's I, not, let's I've never played a New Vegas game. directly from Good Springs. <laughs> 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 very good very good <laughs> so we're going we're, we're we're skipping the potential location of the caravan we're gonna go to the ruins and work with them and then we're gonna probably depending on how long it actually takes us and how much of our resources we consume we'll then either go to the dragon location air quotes or we'll go back and get more resources or supplies or what have you. Or, yeah. like, ditch someone who might be dead. I don't know. Like, one of us could very easily die from a run. Here, here's, yep. my, here's my thinking. I, I, I think we're on a much more solid track now. Uh, it seems like it's the only thing that really makes sense. Um, we get the five putties and um, <laughs> our, our, our knightly Dudes. friend. Uh, and so with these five red shirts, um, she will be recontouring on the way to the twinkle. Yeah. Yeah. Twig folks somewhere here, don't go here. Um, meanwhile, this is a trading post. Surely, this is a trading post in the middle of nature. So surely there are trackers. Surely there are messenger pigeons or something along those lines to quickly exchange information. Um, we ensure that our mercenary friends gain access to that so that they can swiftly bring messages between us and them. Let's confirm we can do that. Yep. Thurston, can is there a messaging system that we can actually like keep in contact with our squad of goons plus Victrix? Oh fuck no. Okay. Good. No. No. I, do, I have right. a spell. I do have yeah, that. Bird yeah. Yeah. Spell. If you have like magic and shit that is yours, absolutely. But like, no, there is no like. Every story requires a cell phone nowadays. Type thing. Um, yeah. This is very much like a. We're sending the, the squad on and we're going to see if they come back, but like you don't get regular updates or anything. Mm -hmm. Well, the issue is, is if we just send them out to Reckon Tour, we have no way of getting information reports. Or yep. We've got Warren. We've got Warren we could, spell. So, no, 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 hang on a second. We, we can still very easily do that. We would simply, we would send them out. They would go and like look around, but we would tell them maybe don't directly attack them because that's a bad idea. They meet us as we're going somewhere, because they'll have to come back, because they're not going to stay up. We can set up a point somewhere between us going to the ruins and going to the dragon where they meet us, like maybe... And then they can go back if they're not dead. If they're dead, then they don't come back anyway, and we'd learn nothing anyway. No. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, okay, that sounds like about as good of a plan as we can uh, conjure. Uh, in the meantime, probably during my downtime, I'll be fucking with the dirigible and seeing if we can do something like burn it dangerously to cross a tremendous amount of um, land in a short period. Or well, the, I, and again, I want to point out, like, the dirigibles for holding equipment. You're not building something that is capable of holding people. Oh, that, yeah, that exactly. The, that was certainly the original intent. Yeah. We, come to the we don't have a yeah. ton of time to futz with inventing. Uh, yeah. We, yeah. I'm going to point out, we also did cover that the dirigible can hold a bulk of two. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, like it's, not a yeah, it's, it's, it can it's hold, like, like for talk. holding stuff above the water was what, what I was going to It will like. hold club talk. <laughs> we can put club talk in there. Yeah. Speaker, it's make, the club, make club talk, talk chariot. Yeah, yeah, make club talk pull it. Oh my god, he could wear a little captain's hat. It could be like, oh. Yes! <laughs> Give him that a flintlock, it'll be the cannon. That would really <laughs> be some glove talk helping. Yep. <laughs> he is helping. Club talk captain. Um... <laughs> What the hell are yeah, we you, doing? You can you can work on that to like at least get it to a point where you can like hold more equipment, which is which was sort of the the, the original plan with that. So, um, okay, and then you're going to dispatch the guards. Where's Victrix going in this? Victrix is supposedly leading the guys and helping. Okay, them. yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to make sure. Yeah, so Victrix is going to take the the five of Zebel Zap's dudes head out this way. Cool. So we'll probably blow the hundred on her and then just have that be this the case. She's like the elite guy that we're sending with them to ensure yeah. they don't fuck it up. Or maybe she'll just kill them. I don't know. That's up to you. Mm -hmm. Good okay. question. Mm -hmm. okay. And then my understanding is, is that you, along with the runes explorers, will start heading in this direction towards the runes. Yep. Yep. Okay. You have a choice of going directly south or southwest. Um... 
there with them, and then ideally we'll go this way if everything works out fine. And then at some point they'll meet up with us like here, and we'll take a different path or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, southwest I'm good with. Um, yeah, if west nothing west. else, it'll at least open up a little bit, and we'll kind of see uh, what we'll the see... path toward Gorgamonger looks like, or toward we'll see... a dragon. We'll see more hexes if we go there. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Min-maxing. Min-maxing. Yes. All right, so uh, you head out with, uh, and, and you, you are traveling alongside the, the individuals of the BMF company, uh, yes. particularly uh, Dita, who she introduces herself to you finally, uh, Dita Nissen, and her two guards, Albert and Mogens. Uh, the three of you join together and make your way out into the swamplands. I think that's actually what we're going to call it, because, um, yeah. yeah. Planning! We're, we're get, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that we've finally decided the whole plan and how you're exploring and everything else, we'll find out what happens when you start going into some of these places next time. Yeah. Awesome. Yay, thank you, <laughs> Thurston. Yeah. Next time. Thank, thank all of you for, for like, Biting on the million plot threads I apparently gave you. We want all of them third. Uh, you, you were like, More. like you, were, you were all Bethesda players. You're like, okay, I want to get all the companions. I want all of the people to like me. I want, yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I want us to come back to this session in like five or ten sessions time and be like, oh man, we planned all this stuff. It totally worked out for us and everything went great. Yeah, it, it always does. Yeah, yeah. Nothing bad ever happens ever. to the this TTRPG party. Exactly. Ever. Never. Ever. Never. But as, <laughs> yeah. as you all leave, thank you everyone so much for watching another exciting episode of Rock Grind. I have been your host, Zoran the Bear, playing the strict steward Oren, and I have been joined by the amazing, amazing Oda Roshi. Hi, I'm Odo. I was playing Vali, the self swashbuckler. You can find me on Twitter at Oroshi Rider, or somewhere in your home, uh, if you look hard enough. Uh, wonderful session, you guys. I'm excited for the plans to definitely come to fruition. We're Next up, die. we have the indomitable Hulky Crow. That's me. I was playing the Kanrasu cleric Rahua. You can find me at Hulky Crow on Twitter, as well as on our Narrative Declaration Community Discord server. Always love to see you guys there. Always happy to talk and do some fun things, community events every now and then. Uh, but thank you very much for coming out. Had a great time with everybody this evening. Uh, Hulky, have you been playing Ultra Kill this entire time? I just haven't closed it. Hulky? I haven't <laughs> fucking played it! Don't, don't at me! I haven't touched the game since we played. And then we have the ever-judgmental Erendil! Oh, judgmental, huh? Thanks. Damn! <laughs> yeah, I've been Erndal. I've been playing as Baldric, the alchemist, and also as Victrix, uh, who is mercenary. I don't, I don't want to reveal, say anything else, really. I guess so. Yeah, I've been playing as them, and you can meet me at Twitter at Erndilio, and again, basically nowhere else, but also Discord if you happen to see where I. Am. And then we have the ever revolutionary Speakerdy. Yes. Hi, I'm Speakerdy. You can find me on Twitter. Super Snake Egg. You can find me uh, as Big D and a plethora of other characters on Alpha Views' YouTube channel, and um, I can find you anytime. Sound the horn three times, and I will come. <laughs> I always will. Um, and the one you, who Arno. has been bringing us through the swamps and corrupting everything that we do, our amazing game master, Thurston Hillman. Okay, I swear, though, like, now we're gonna get into, like, some hardcore adventuring, y'all, so buckle your butts up. Um, like, now they're, now they're passing away from the last vestige of civilization, so, uh, we'll see how they do, and how their little B-team does. I'm excited. I, 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 I like how much this map has already evolved today, and this is just the session zero of us going into Swamplands. Oh, <laughs> yeah, excite dude. bike, excite bike, gonna be fun. Uh, hi, I'm, yeah, Thurston Hill, I'm called GM. You can find me on all the things that I'm called GM. Uh, I'll be back here in like two weeks' time, and well, it's gonna be great. 
And with that, thank you, chat, so much for watching. Thank you, everyone, for watching this live. If you liked everything that we do here, narrativedeclaration.com to find all that we're about. Get the free PDFs if you ever want to play in the world of Rock Grind. And so we put a whole bunch of effort into it, and along with a free adventure that's Pathfinder 2nd Edition compatible and all that. And support the show at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. Love you all. And we'll see you Love all next faces. time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.